I realise I've been talking that entire time there and I've had no microphone audio. That, that is depressing. That is really depressing. I could have been stood here for hours just talking with no, uh, no realisation of what was going on. Oh, that's embarrassing. Anyway, right, so let's reopen that file for the moment. Surgeon and Phantom. Uh, darker clothing, not always wearing the same clothing, uh, has apparently not been present at every attack. Emerald Station has been a popular target. Check cabins in a safe way, provide anything to the law. Uh, has targeted various state workers already. Law believer deputy could be next. Uh, what the fuck did, uh, what did she say again? Uh, uh, be careful when riding alone. What? Oh, that's going to really kill me off. That is really going to kill me off. Oh, shit. There we go. Uh... I don't remember. I don't remember now. I'm just like, what the hell do I do? Oh, right, yeah, that was it. Definitely, definitely two of them working together. Uh, definitely two of them working, uh, definitely two of them working together. Second state workers. Right, okay then, so, in which case, let's go to, what's the file name, uh, 17597, 17597, I see 17597, uh, oh, no, there, uh, Pugsley! Pugsley! There we go. There we go. Pugsley! Uh, uh, 27. No, we're on the 28th. We're on the 28th. 28th of November. Um. And. Yeah. Surgeon and the Phantom. Um, spoken to law today. About, um, spoken to death. Uh, 
get to the all there today about Right, could affect could affect the Rangers. Two men, nay, two men who call themselves the surgeon and the phantom are attacking. Various state workers. And have already attacked. And have already attacked at Berry. Topanga Berry. Have already attacked Topanga Berry. I have. I have reached. Out to check in with her, but I did not know if any GWs or had done already. I've not added anything to general news yet either. I've created a junior only file on the Subject for the moment, it is case it is file C dash one seven five nine seven. Uh, I've created a senior only file on the subject for the moment. It is Details I was given. Mm. Oh, yeah, didn't know what she could or could not give them. So She thought she didn't say. Right, check in, check in, check in, check in. There we go. Uh, right, so that's there. Senior news has been updated. That's all done. And this and that, that and this. Bing, bang, bong. You know how it is. South shore of Barrow Lagoon. Came across a wagon with a span of horses sitting alone on the south shore of Barrow Lagoon. Searched the area for quite a while without finding anyone. Put the horses up by your encampment right there and made sure they were fed and covered in blankets. Nasty squall of sleep moved in as the sun was setting. So whoever is out there is in for a word of hurts if they don't get themselves sorted. Andrew Miller, BI419. Hmm. Uh, do the operators have a green warehouse on Colwood being of Marines? Oh, so he seems just like a fairly normal standard dude. We'll take a look. We'll go take. Uh, we'll go take a look up there. Why not? Why not? We've not been up to Barrow Lagoon in a little bit. I'll go send a tip into the law, letting them know I'm heading up to uh, investigate something seen at Barrow Lagoon, and then we'll we'll get going. That'd be fun. Nice little trip up to Barrow Lagoon. Ooh. 
War. Um. Oh, haha, -ha, wonderful. Um. Check in. Had a report that there is some that there is a ditched wagon up at Barrow Lagoon Ranger Station. Going to go and take a look. We'll be on the line if needed. Uh, about to pop into a meeting, but I'll leave a look. How was I not following you? <laughs> appreciate the follow, Sarah. I appreciate the follow. You, uh, you, you look all you need to, all right? You look all you need to. Um... All righty. <laughs> we love a good look. We love a good look. Come on, then, you big dummy. Let's... Uh... Let me remember how to get to Barrow Lagoon quickly. Uh, we can go. Yeah, so we just go up. Yeah, I remember. I think. Your crim was so good. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. You're very, very kind. I appreciate that. I try my best. I can't believe that was the end of that story. Yeah, I know. I know. We, uh... You know, that was a lot of, that was a lot, a lot of time that went into that. Um, you know, there was months and months that went into that story. Um, really, there was, uh, there was a whole lot that was going on uh, to get to that point where we got to. So, yeah, that was a really fun story. Shout out to Slappy for letting me be involved with that because that was honestly, that was so much fun. I don't think I'll play a criminal for a good while um, now. Um, I just have too many the things going on on wild i've got senior ranger stuff i've got a medic i've got old blythe who is doing what he's doing he's a little bit he's back around a little bit now oh there's a prong there's just just a just a, just a stag just running around okay and then uh i do have another character who i'm not going to say anything about for the moment um i'm not going to say anything about because he's going to be a bit more of an off-stream character and i kind of He's going to end up meeting a lot of people through somebody. Um, so he's, he's, he's part of somebody's life um, in, the, in the crossing. I'm not going to say whose, but um, I, I'm really excited to get that going because I think there's a lot there and I think they are going to meet a lot of people through somebody. That'd be like quite important to, uh, to quite a lot of people, I think, which is going to be really fun. Really looking forward to that. And I briefly went on yesterday and started planting the seeds that they were around. So um, it's uh, it's now a case of whether or not um, we get anything from it, particularly. So so I'm very excited. I'm very very excited about that. Uh, oh yeah, we'll just go this way. We'll just go down here and round because we can still get to Cattail down here. Because we're just gonna follow the road round down here. We're just gonna let it wind. Oh no, actually no. We want to go over this way. That's wolves. Where are they? Ooh. Kill! Oh, that wolf just disappeared immediately. Okay, sure. Is that somebody's horse or? Is it... Where is it? I heard. Where? I am. Damn! I 
am shooting good right now. Holy shit. Uh, fully reloaded, yeah, wonderful. Reload. Oh no, uh, recoil gun belt. Lovely. Um, yeah, we're going the right way. I was shooting good there. Holy shit! Don't know where all that came from because I certainly, uh, certainly don't always shoot that well. Wish I was shooting that well on Sunday when I was crimming it up. I wish I'd streamed that. I wish I'd streamed my perspective of that because that was a lot of fun. So, uh, uh ooh, which way are we going? Uh, sorry, someone is messaging me right now. Uh, we need to take the... Yep, we go that way. We go that way. That way, that way, that way. That way, that way, that way. I don't come up to Barrow Lagoon very often, so I never remember fully where to go. Wild horses? Wild horses. Oh, oh, got to stop, put the coat on. It's starting to get cold. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Now we're nice and warm. I'm seeing no wagon. They said it was round the station, right? Right? No. I'm not seeing anything that says... I'm not seeing any wagons around. That came in along the, sitting alone along the south shore of Barrow Lagoon. The south shore of Barrow Lagoon. Well, that's here. Put the horses of Violent Encampment right there and made sure they were fed and covered in blankets. Nasty squall of sleep moved in as the sun was setting, so I think whoever is out there is in for a world of hurt. If they don't get themselves sorted. 
well, there's no tip that's come in for Barrow Lagoon. And this, this is the south side of the lagoon, and I'm seeing no wagons anywhere. You would know if there was a wagon around. So he's crossing Ranger Corps. Anybody injured out here? Thanks, crossing Ranger Corps. Anybody injured out here? If I wander over to the house quickly. This is Ranger Pugsley with the Saints Cross and Ranger Corps. I'd like to come inside and perform a wellness check. If anybody's inside, please call out. Keep forgetting this bit. This is Senior Ranger Pugsley with the Saints Cross and Ranger Corps. I'd like to come inside and perform a wellness check. If anybody's inside, please call out. Alrighty, this is Senior Ranger Pugsley with the Saints Cross and Ranger Corps. I'm now going to come inside and perform a wellness check. If anybody's inside, please call out. I'm on for my own protection. Please do not shoot. I'm now entering the building. Let's cross some ranges. Anybody in here? No, nobody. Alrighty, Swanson, shall we take a ride up to uh, up to the old Coulter, shall we? I think we will. Let's check the grave over here as well. Something sometimes people plant stuff at the grave over here. They're trying to be funky, funky, funky. He uh he doesn't look very well. <laughs> he doesn't look very well at all. No ice in hell. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I've never read that before. Uh, now I kind of wish I hadn't. Ooh, spooky, spooky, spooky. We'll go up to Coulter, see if there's anything up there. And I'm from Coulter, well, I don't go up to Coulter very often either, so it'd be nice to uh, take a trip up to Coulter. It will. It will, it will, it will. Ah. This is the peaceful life, man, of being a ranger. This is this this is the peaceful life. Just out here chilling, just vibing, working, doing all our business, travelling the state, being cool, seeing all the cool places. We'll go over the top. We want to go to Coulter anyway. We're not too bothered about going down to Lake Isabella. So, Uh oh, White House. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Nice and slow. Whoa, that is a heavy White House. Okay, right. Let's let's go in first person, shall we? I mean, pretty much, if we ride north, we'll be okay. Oh shit. Actually, let's come down this way, like so. Yeah, there we go. We're fine. Look at that. We're fine.
I have literally zero faith in myself at all times. <laughs> oh. No new telegrams. 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 Telegram yours. Let's go this way. Take the tippy line quickly. See that there's nothing on there. Uh, we'll mark that as resolved. Oh, James St. Patrick's on duty as well. Oh, fantastic. We'll go and say, uh, we'll go down to Strawberry and we'll go find James, shall we? See what he's doing. Let's go see, because James got promoted like a week ago. He's a fairly new ranger. Let's go see how James is getting on, shall we? Okay, we'll just go one step at a time. One step at a time. Can I actually see... It? Oh, no, that's the snowbank there, right? Well, that's uh, a nice visual for you all. <laughs> that's a snowbank there. Uh... Yo, what's up? What's up, graded? Great. Right, okay, I don't know... I don't... <laughs> Right, this is going to sound bad, yeah. I don't know if I'm saying grade... What is it? Graded X or grade dicks? Oh, wait. It's a pawn, isn't it? Was it a pawn? And I'm being silly. <laughs> I am such a silly goose. I really am. Where's the river crossing over here? Oh, it's there. It's there. Ah, no, no. There it is. Keep going. Lovely. Lovely. Grade dicks. Grade dicks. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Apologies for getting it wrong. Apologies. I apologise for getting it wrong. How you doing though, brother? How you doing? You good? Thank you for the follow, Saint Daddy. If that's my boy who I know, it, if that's who I think it is. I know. Uh, crazy pronounce. My bad. My bad. My bad. I say English is my first language. It's not. I'm terrible. I'm really bad. I hate that whiteout. That whiteout is horrible. It's really, really horrible. But anyway, how is your day going? Thank you for the follow, by the way. And thank you for the follow as well, Mr. Saint Daddy. Appreciate that. Dude, do you stream often? I stream when I remember, basically. Um, more than anything. I, I sort of stream whenever I think, oh, you know what? I want to stream today. Um, that's sort of how my streaming life goes uh, more than anything. Um, it's sort of me just kind of waking up one day while getting home from work one day and going, you know what? I want to stream today. And today I got home from work. I've had a particularly horrendous day at work. And I was like, you know what? I want to relax. And I want to... I'm flexible. I am a little bit flexible. I don't always really... Huh? What the... <laughs> oh, that's... I like that. I do. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty flexible with my streaming in that way. Um... But I don't, I, I don't stream often. It's just mostly whenever I remember to. I really want to get into streaming more because I really do enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. Um, and I find it a lot of fun. I do. I do find it a lot of fun. Mostly because I just talk too much anyway. So 
it's just uh it's just more of an outlet for me great man oh thank you thank you do you uh, uh apologies uh, if i'm not sure do you are, are you on the server do you play on wild or do you just watch a lot of people play wild A lot of people who are on the server, so if I don't... Who's your favourite ranger? Sal DeLucas is my favourite ranger. How are you, Saint? How are you? Oh, shit. Which way am I going? Um, oh, no. Oh, calm that down. You just watch people. Oh, fair enough. No, nope, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sal DeLucas is one of my favourite rangers. Sal DeLuca's fiance is also one of my favorite rangers. <laughs> Good brother, I'm just about to start my day at work. Oh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Good, good. Yeah, I, I, it's probably not going to be the most. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I play too, but watching someone playing that increases my dopamine. Oh, fair enough. Hey, look, man. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. Oh, you didn't have to do that, Saint. Saint. Oh, I love you. I love you. That's very kind of you, my brother. That is very kind of you, my brother. That helps me pay for that tattoo next week. So. <laughs> So thank you very much. Thank you very much, brother. That's very, very kind of you. I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Ah, lighty and sad. I think that elk may be in the wrong place. <laughs> I don't think... I think you're a little stuck up there, buddy. Uh, uh, yeah, you calling out for help? That, that I, I think I might know why you are. Hold on, let me, let me help you down quickly. There we go. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for God's sakes. Uh, let me swap weapons back quickly. Sure, of course you can suggest some firm. What do you want to suggest? I want that elk. I want that elk skin. Give me that elk skin. Oh, shit. We're going to get it. 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 There we go. Why don't you put a gaming? Why don't you put a gaming logo on your channel? Basically, it shows your channel identity. Um, you know what? That's probably a really good. Oh, ouch! Uh, that's probably a really good idea. However, um, I just don't have a lot of that branding stuff really. Um, at the moment, it's something I need to do. But to be honest, I don't fully really know what my channel identity is. Oh, the, the stuff I've got so far is stuff that I made. Like, you can make your stream creative in a chat, like your PSP, for your profile pic of the stream logo, like you're holding a PS5 controller. Yeah, no, it's all stuff that I like. It's all stuff that I know. Um, To be honest, it's just stuff I've, like, never, like, sorted. Because it's just sort of, like, the, uh, the, the stream stuff I have right now, like the banners and stuff, I made in about 10 minutes on uh, Adobe Illustrator, right? And that's about as far as my skills on Illustrator get, is doing that. And anyone could have done that on any program that's not Illustrator, but I did it on Illustrator. Um, so it's mostly down to just me uh, just needing to sort something out. But if I stream more, then I will do something like that. But I also just need to, like, figure that part out. Because that's the... Uh, that is the part uh, that, that, that I could do with figuring out if I do want to do this more. Absolutely. So... No, I appreciate the advice. Absolutely, I do appreciate the advice as always. Um, but it's uh, that's something that I 
I need to figure out a lot more. Because there's a lot more I have to figure out with my... Uh, uh, I don't really have a gram that I share for, like, uh, this kind of stuff, uh, to be honest. I, um, uh, like I say, I just... I stream more for the fun than more being like, give me all your money! Um, so, you know, I'm not too fussed about kind of, like, I say the outreach. Um, but it's... Uh, I, I don't really have... Um, I don't really have a lot of that. I don't. So, um, I mean, I have Discord, but I'm, I, I just don't share my Discord around, really. I, I just don't. So, um, it's... Uh, Maybe one day, maybe one day, but we we go one step at a time. We go one step at a time. And also, I've got like 160 followers, which means that like, who, I, I have nothing to provide people in a Discord server. I have nothing to provide people in a Discord server of my own Discord server. I have a Discord server for some friends of mine, and that's about as far as I get in terms of Discord servers. So, and then wild, and that's like it. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I wanna end up running into a fucking cougar on the way back. In typical Pugsley style. Excuse me, thank you. And TBH, I really like the way you're conducting the stream. Oh, I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. That's very, very kind of you. That is, uh, that's, uh, that's very, very kind of you. I appreciate that. Oh. I have a lot that I need to work on for streams. I, 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 I want to do, you know, I want to do music and things as well. I would like to have music in the background of streams, but I just, I have to sit down and just sort it all out. I just have to give myself some time to sort it all out because at the moment I'm just like, I'm very just sort of blase about it. I'm like, yeah, you know, I've got everything I need. I've got, I've got my, uh, I've got my OBS working how I want to, my microphone, I've got all my settings kind of how I want to, you know, like it's, it's fine. It's just uh, all the rest of it. That, uh, it's just, uh, I just need to sort as such. Uh, yeah, we'll go up this way. And then we'll ride over here. Uh, that's a cliff there. So we ride there, past the house. And over the cliff. Uh, down the cliff and back on the path. Probably wasted a lot more time than necessary doing that, but you know, we love a little silly shortcut, silly little shortcuts. How we roll. Nearly back at home. I'm actually going to, whilst I'm riding, Take the coat off. Back in the normal woolly jumper. One of twelve. One of twelve. Soon to be thirteen. Soon to be thirteen woolly jumpers. We've got to. Uh, we've got to uh, make a Christmas jumper. I might even make two yet. I've not fully decided. I have. I have not fully decided. But it depends. There is no ranger at the porch, so I'm going to assume... Oh, no, there is a ranger at the porch. I see a ranger at the porch. Howdy. Are they going to take... Oh, no, they're not. You have to... Right. See? They oh, buy elk know. pelts for like a good amount of money, don't they? The shops. They're like 30 bucks. There's no ranger circle? What do you mean no ranger circle? Bamasaur? Hello, hello, by the way, Bamasaur. How are you?
I don't know what a ranger circle is. I'm just here, all right. Oh, eight times. There's, uh, I will just be in a circle talking. Oh, no. Well, we can start that, but there's only two rangers on duty right now, and it's me and James here. So, speaking of James, speaking of James. Hello, James. How are you? And you good? Good, good, thank you. Good. Just, uh,. Just been up to Barra Lagoon. I don't know if you saw it on the tip line. There was uh, something came in about some uh, some wagon or something up there. So uh, just wanted oh, to go no. take a look. No, yeah, no. I've only just uh, got on duty. Um, by the way, a uh, deputy just came uh, and spoke to me. They said um, if we get a uh, tip um, or uh, you know someone letting us know, um, apparently in tall trees, it's deputies. I've been told. That's what they said. Oh, are they doing some sort of training or something? I'm not too sure. She didn't say. She's just attacked them road off, so. Oh, were they in a rush? Uh, yeah, seemed it, so. Right, okay. In which case, they're probably in trouble. In t they're probably going to be some sort of shootout, my guess, would be yeah, in torture. That's what then, something yeah, like that. that's what I thought. Uh, so. In which case, we will wait here, and we will be on standby for uh, anything that does come through. Uh, did they say whether they wanted us to go out on that if anything did come up or, or not? No, she no, she literally just said, uh, hello, Ranger. I said, hello. And she went, um, just so you know, if you get anything up in tall trees, it's deputies. I said, oh, okay. And then she wrote off. Right, yeah. That means they're probably in some sort of trouble going into tall trees. Um, so... That's what I got from her tone as well, that there could be some kind of shooting or something. Yeah, there, you, so. uh, you've had your stabilization training, right? I uh, have indeed, yep. Okay, good. You, uh, you're familiar with the term triage? Yes, I am. Brilliant. And that's something that we might end up having to do. Look, hopefully, those deputies will, uh, will get the upper hand. But, um, we'll, uh, you know, we'll go take a look. Uh, we'll go take a look around. Should anything come up. Uh, I, I need a stew. Would you like a stew? Uh, I can help you out with that. Oh, oh, are you telling me you have a stew on hand? Uh, uh, yes, I do. Oh, how wonderful. Take a cheeky $5 for the stew. I oh, appreciate it, thank you. Uh, it's all right. Should be good to eat now, so it should cool, been cooled down a little bit. Uh, to be honest, I'll eat these cold if I have to. That's fair enough. How you been? How's your head feeling? Oh, much better. Much, much better, thank you. Much better. That's, that's good I, uh, I feel ready to work. One uh, one metal plate extra. <laughs> I still can't believe you slipped down there. That's such a fall as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a long fall. Yeah, I, uh, I don't really know how I did it either. But uh, it happened, and that's the... Uh, well, that's, uh, that's the past now. I just uh, I know I will never do it again. Uh, I don't know about a ranger line, I'm only here for the circles. I feel like that's 8% of the time. There are definitely days you don't start, we're answering 20 plus tips, sure, but some degree it seems like wild up here. Have you been on duty on. long? I've uh, been on duty for on and off, a couple of hours. Um, I had to disappear and go do something just uh, in my hotel room for, uh, for a little bit, but uh, mm -hmm. I've been uh, sorting, some, uh, sorting some senior stuff out too, so. Um, oh, nice. Uh, just uh, been doing some things I can't really talk about at the moment. Um, yeah, no, son. How long have you been a senior for? A couple of weeks now. Uh, it's not very long, actually. Oh, is that uh, all it is? Blimey. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's. Let me tell you how long it's been. Let me tell you how long it's been. Um. Oh, actually, um, the day that uh, the day that Russell got promoted. The day before that, I think it was, I got promoted. You know when we took you all to um... the uh, the event, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it was. Uh, it was two weeks ago. Uh, two weeks ago to two weeks ago today, I think. Oh wow! I think. Wait, is that right? No, 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 no. No, two weeks ago on Sunday is what it was. 
Oh, all right. Yeah, two weeks ago on Sunday. I just I, I got all the numbers like mixed up in my head. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> yeah. All so, days blur into one after. Yeah, the world, oh, they, they do. So. Yeah, so it was two weeks ago, and then pretty much like a day or two later, we promoted Russell, and then you've been promoted now for two four, days. Is it only two days? <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, uh, three. three. Today's day number day three. Number three. Yeah. Why do I feel like you've been promoted for like a week now? Why Why do I feel like that's the case? Maybe it's just because you're around so much. Maybe it's just because you're around so much. Yeah, probably. Sick and tired of my face already. I understand. <laughs> you are... Uh... You, uh, you you are absolutely correct there. I am sick of your face already. Like, give, me, <laughs> give me that poncho back. You're not allowed it anymore. It's fine. <laughs> Actually, um, whilst I'm on the subject of you obviously being around, you know, have you um, you know, just to uh, just to I guess talk some uh, talk some senior talk as such. You are uh, everything okay with you in the Rangers so far? You know, including your time as a recruit. Anything that stuck out to you as any problems or concerns, anything like that? Or are you uh, you you just enjoying your time at the moment? No, no, everything's been golden. As I said to people when I got promoted, the people here are just, do you know what I mean? I couldn't fault anybody here. Just holding so friendly, you know, it's like a big family. People are so helpful. So, no, I couldn't, couldn't put a bad word about anybody. Good, good. I'm I'm really happy to hear that. I am really, really happy to hear that. Um, You know, if you... uh. You know, don't don't uh, don't feel like at all that you know if you uh, if you've got any issues that you can't come and speak to uh, can't come to speak to any of the seniors. You know, we are we are all here to help. We really are. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, we uh, appreciate that. You know, we we want to make sure that everybody's having the best time possible, and and you know they're doing the job to the best of their ability. Um, you know, so if if you do have any problems at all, you know, uh, you come find me. You come find whoever. You know, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. All right. Will do. Thank you. Appreciate good, it. Good. You uh, you coming to the meeting on Sunday? Sunday. There is a range meeting on Sunday. Was it not Saturday? Am I getting my dates mixed up? It is Saturday. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> Friday and Saturdays aren't the, aren't the best of days for me. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. One of these days I'll figure out what day of the week things are. That's that's good that I found out what day of the week it is because um I would have missed <laughs> I would have missed the meeting and uh, I have things to talk about at the meeting so <laughs> that would that would not have been very good. Tony recently um <laughs> discovered this war. <laughs> it's so silly when I'm tr looking at times I have to try and you know uh convert it. Yeah, and then I realise how you can see, you can actually see. <laughs> you're a you're a you're a Brit, right? You're a you're a Brit, right? I am indeed. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, if you're filling out any paperwork and you need to put the time and the date down, uh, you know, just go five hours ahead, um, of of what time it would be Eastern, and uh, and you'll be you'll be spot on. So you know, yeah, yeah, you'll be you'll be absolutely spot on. I just write down the Eastern time anyway, just so it's easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I write down the Eastern time as well. You know what I also find really helps? You know, if you're, uh, let's say you're on the tip line, right? What you can do mm -hmm. is, is you can start writing the document and then save it. Um, and when you save it, um, you know, you can, you'll basically print a... Uh, the time it was last updated in the top corner. Yeah. Um, so you can get the most accurate time you possibly can. Yes, it is Yank Saturday. Say. Well, it's also English Saturday, the meeting is. It is also English Saturday, that meeting is. Because it's only at 4 p.m. Eastern, which is uh, 9 p.m. British time. So, oh, shit. Uh, no, I will be home in time for the meeting. I'm going to the football on Saturday, which is it's on like five o'clock on a Saturday night. So, yeah, I'll be home for the meeting. I, I better be home for the meeting. I'll be. I'll tell you what, though, is because this, <laughs> this 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 might shock you or surprise you. I don't. Uh, not a lot of people probably don't say this, but uh, I enjoy the paperwork side of things. Oh, that does not shock me at all. I am a I am a man of the paperwork. I am. I am a man of the paperwork. So. Back home, I used to do a. Used to do a role with um that required a lot of paperwork and uh yeah I enjoyed doing it here as well. Uh, uh, what did you do 
back home. See you later, Saint. Um, Good seeing you. I, I worked in the law back home. Oh, oh, you were uh, you were a policeman. I was indeed, yeah. Oh, okay. How come you uh, how come you didn't join uh, the sheriff's department out here? If you don't mind me asking. Um. Well, you know, I, I back home I worked my way up to a uh, marshal. You know, I did enjoy it, but over a certain amount of time I stopped enjoying it. You know, and. Well, when I come to the crossing, I was just weighing up my opportunities, and uh, I thought, you know, this this would suit me. You know, I like to go out and uh, explore, um, just help people still. So I like nature as well, you know. So it's uh, it's very peaceful what we do. You know, the, uh, you know, you get a lot of uh, you get a lot of freedom here in the here in the ranges that you don't always get. Um, with the uh, with the sheriff's department, you know, correct. Yeah, uh, they do a lot more paperwork than we do. A lot more paperwork than we do, which isn't uh, always a bad thing, you know. Uh, especially if you enjoy the paperwork. But from what I hear, their paperwork is very messy, and they have, you know, yeah, we got we got we got like three boxes of paperwork right for our clipboards. The average deputy has something like 140 boxes of paperwork for their, uh, for their clipboard. <laughs> and then obviously if you become a senior, you get more paperwork and then under sheriffs get more and then sheriffs get more. So, you know, it just goes up and up and up and up and up. It never stops. So. It's... Uh, it's certainly something. It's certainly something. But those, uh, but those deputies are good at what they do, you know. But you can, uh, you can still do a fair bit of paperwork here. Don't think you know that just because you're a, um, uh, just a just a ranger that you know your paperwork is limited to that of a, uh, you know, that of doing mm -hmm. tip line and patrols and you know recruit feedback, so on and so forth. You know, if you've got a personal project idea that you want to do. You know, then uh, you know you can you can start writing a proposal up for that. Um, you know, when uh, you know you can you can maybe do a you do, you looked into the ranger paths at all, anything like that, or uh, I did actually. As you met, uh, I saw one. There was I saw a few of them. I liked the deer one, I believe. Path of the stag, yeah. Yes, yeah, the one. Yeah, the stag's a uh, the, the stag's a good one. The stag is a really good one. Um, yeah. I'm uh I'm I'm slightly biased because I'm a I'm a leader on Path of the Eagle, um so I'm. Just, so what so if if don't want me asking, <laughs> what do the what do the paths mean? So. So the paths don't the, the paths don't kind of mean anything in terms of your like, um, in terms of say making you more likely to progress to being a senior or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um to to my understanding at least the um you know the past is just personal progression for you as a ranger um to, right, be okay. to better your ability as a ranger you know so uh you know when you you know let's use the let's use the path of the stag for example you know a lot of that is to do with kind of herbs and horse care and 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 so on and so forth you know and that uh it helps you specialize into a into a certain area of what we do as a ranger you know um gives you more knowledge on a certain area but also you know you might discover something whilst doing all of that that could actually be of real benefit to all of us as rangers so you know you uh you specializing and getting that knowledge can be really useful for well a lot of different reasons actually yeah sounds good what about what is uh eagle would you specialize in that? So the Path of the Eagle is based around uh, navigation and learning the crossing, uh, like the back of your hand, um, as such. So, uh, you know, whereas in... Uh, I've got to remember what you do for... Uh, what you actually have to do for Path of the, Path of the Stag, uh, in terms of what actually the... Hold on, let me... Uh, Page of Master Information, Range of Paths, Path of the Stag... Uh, I think you basically have to learn a bunch of stuff um, with through the path of the through the path of the stag. So you spend a lot of time learning how to do things like horse care, you know, horse uh, herbs and tonics. You you learn a lot of that stuff. Um, as part of the path of the eagle, you basically have to create maps for basically everywhere in the crossing. Mm -hmm. um, 
I've not started any because I've been a little bit preoccupied with being a senior. Uh, yeah, been. So um, I've not really had time. And I've also I've also been working on another project of my own, um, which has been very time consuming for a while. Um, uh, but yeah, so, you know, the Path of the Eagle is a lot of... Um, you know, going out to places, learning locations better, doing border testing um, and uh, making maps for different things for various areas. So um, for the Path of the Eagle, you have to, for each area of the crossing, so, you know, let's say uh, Big Valley, Great Plains, Tall Trees, those kind of areas as such, uh, mm -hmm. you have to make a map of something. Um, so, you know, it could be herb, lo it could be a map of herb locations, it could be a map of animal dens it could be um a map of you know points of interest in the area you know it could be um a map of any of that kind of stuff you just have to make a map of something for each area um so there's obviously quite a lot of areas um to do but once you've done all of those and it's the same with the path of the stag you uh, you're familiar with the ranger trials right um just wait, I think I've, I may be getting something mixed up. What is the Ranger Trials? So, Ranger Trials... Uh, okay, right. So, right, let me backtrack a little bit, and then I'll come back to uh, Ranger Trials, right? So, mm. um, you know, once you've completed all the parts of that path, then to finish it, you do essentially a Ranger Path special... Well, you do a Path Special Ranger Trial, basically. So, you do a special Ranger Trial based on that path. So... The ranger trials are a different thing, activity that uh, any ranger can do, and recruits can do it too. Um, we it used to be uh, a mandatory thing for a recruit to do a, uh, a ranger trial before they got the green poncho, believe it or not. Um, but essentially, all a ranger trial is is uh, you get uh, a limited supply of things with you. We take all of your money off of you. We take all of all of your things off you. You get. Um, like a rifle and a limited amount of ammunition and you're told to go out to an area um, collect a bunch of stuff um, and come back basically go find a couple of things go collect a couple of things um, do a couple of things basically uh, and mm -hmm. come back once it's done and you have to do it in two hours and there's three different tiers of them so there's uh, there's level ones level twos level threes level threes uh, take a lot longer but um, mm -hmm. Level ones and twos, I believe, are just two hours. That sounds sounds good. If you'll excuse me one moment, I just need to uh, go in my head for a moment around the back of the lodge. You yeah, know, Riz. All right, chat. I'll uh, I'll be back in a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be back in a second. I'll be back in a second.
Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. Ugh. If you ever want to do a ranger trial at some point, I probably wouldn't do it right now. But, uh, you know, if you've got a free two hours one day, there's a couple of rangers and a senior around and you want to do a ranger trial, just let one of us know and we can, uh, we can get that sorted for you. Yeah, I'll definitely look into that. Sounds good. Yeah, of course. If you don't mind me asking, don't think I'm jumping the gun by any sort, you know, but it's just, you know, I've seen what you've done, I've seen what Soy has done, etc. So, obviously, becoming a senior ranger, how does that happen? You know, because maybe in the future, something I want to work towards, you know. Okay, well, um, you know, there's no point in asking, there's, there's no, no harm in asking the question, obviously, you know, you're a very, very new ranger, so, you know, um, I'm sure you've read in the handbook, Hi, obviously, Samuel. you know, uh, you've, you've read in the handbook, you know, uh, how uh, being a senior is, you know, probably where most rangers should probably aspire to be to at some point in their uh, rangering career, you know. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, the biggest thing with kind of becoming a senior, how to get to that point, um, just... To be honest, I would just say for yourself right now, just keep working. Um, you know, just just get yourself used to being in a green poncho and working with everybody and everything like that. And in time, you might find yourself just thinking, okay, well, how do I push further? But in terms of how we pick somebody to be a senior, you know, um, it's voted for the same way that, um, you know, we vote for somebody to get their green poncho. Except no, it's obviously okay. done by the senior team. So... Mm -hmm. That oh, makes okay. sense. Hello there. Howdy there. How you doing, Sam? What, Samuel? I'm okay. Sorry. Samuel? I was going to say I'm exploring today. I'm on, on my own. Well, you don't How have do you to go? do that now. Unless you want to do that anyway. Did you guess? Wait, what? What? You can, uh... <laughs> I say you don't have to do that now. <laughs> unless you want to do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I decided to go and uh, explore some of the uh, parts of the uh, Ranoke Ridge. Ra Ra Ranoke. Ranoke Ridge. Yeah, Ra Ranoke, Ranoke Ridge. Ridge. Yeah. yeah. Ranoke Ridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, absolutely. Did you go into any of the cabins up there? There's uh, a few dodgy things that go up there sometimes. Oh, yeah. There's a cabin very close to the rail railway tracks on the northern part of Annisburg. Mm -hmm. so, that part I did today I covered that part too I also went uh, near the falls oh yeah you uh, you met any oh, cougars I saw one you saw one yeah only by the falls I was hoping to see more but that's the one that I, that I saw ah you know what I've just been in... you know what for some reason you talking about Roanoke has just completely reminded me of something, Samuel. Thank you so much for talking about Roanoke. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> uh, great. I hope it's something good. Oh, don't you worry. You know, well, it, it's not good, but it's useful uh, for us to know. Um, essentially, useful for for all of us to know. Um, basically, there is a gang that are apparently using the cliffs behind the laboratory up there uh, as a hideout. Um, uh, and have had some situations with the law up there. So, um, if you are going to go up that way, um, then just do be careful. I did actually go into the laboratory the other day and the locks of the medical... Uh, Cabinets had been shut off, so I reported that to the law, so that's probably them trying to Good. break in and steal things. Good, well done. Well done. Holy fuck. Mm -hmm. I didn't check out the laboratory today. I just saw it from a distance, and I just decided to go. There was a cougar yeah. that lived around the laboratory. Yep. Yep, and uh, I've also heard there's a grizzly bear, but I didn't see it. Um... Not too many grizzly bears up in Roanoke, but definitely, uh, definitely plenty of, uh, um, 
Wolves. Oh. Uh, well, cougars. cougars. Definitely plenty of cougars. Yeah. Definitely plenty of cougars. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, besides that, what else is new? Uh, when's the last time you were on duty? Uh, Two days ago, was it? Three days ago? Uh, it was a uh, day before yesterday. Uh, day before yesterday. So, uh, have you seen James in the green poncho yet? Yes, indeed. I did. Oh, he was well, actually I... my first pay for work. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, of course he was. I sent you out on a patrol with him, didn't I? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. We did a I search and rescue, that. and before that, we did the uh, uh, Kamasa River Conservation mm -hmm. Project. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, Dalton got promoted. Dalton Cornwall. You ever met Dalton? Oh, we have. We was actually doing the Kamasa River Project yeah, Dalton, with Dalton. Uh, Dalton's been promoted. I haven't seen him around uh, since. Uh... That's something. Uh, hey, when, 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 when do I get my promotions? Come on, everybody's well, got, everybody's getting love. Well, you know, you got to work for it. You know, we don't just uh, we don't just give them out to people just because they've been a, uh, a recruit for a long time. You know, they've uh, you know, we've got to work for it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm you know, just to, to be fair, if I'm being entirely honest. Like, I mean, I've not ridden with you for a little bit, but I I don't think you're actually 100 miles away. I don't. Um, you know, you're definitely getting, huh? you know, you're definitely getting, uh, you're definitely not too far away from it. Um, let me ask you a couple of questions quickly. Have you been to every Ranger Tower yet? I have been to the Emberino, uh, the one above the Emerald Ranch. Uh, I've been yep. to the Coulter Tower. You've been to Barrow Lagoon? I haven't been to the New Austin Tower. I think it's Fort Mercer, if I'm not wrong, but I haven't is, been there. It is not Fort Mercer, no. So, um, the New Austin Tower is sort of between Armadillo and... Uh, uh, Tumbleweed. Uh, yeah, Tumbleweed. I completely forgot the name for some reason. Um, okay. Yeah, it's sort of in between there. It's uh, In terms of area, it's actually in Western Chola Springs. Um, okay. So I have also been to the uh, the Mazanita Post Tower. Okay, so hold on, let me fill this up. Almost all of them, except for maybe one or two. So obviously you've been to Strawberry. Have you been to Barrow Lagoon? Barrow Lagoon. Barrow Lagoon. It's a tent next to a frozen lake. Well, uh, me personally, I've uh, I think I've seen the area, but I've been to the Colter Tower. Right, so we do have another Ranger Tower um, at Barrow Lagoon as well. Um, we do. Wait, really? Yeah, we do. And have you been to the one in Lemoyne, south of Braithwaite Manor? Uh, no, uh, okay. Lemoyne, have, I have not seen that one. Barrow okay. Lagoon, I've, I've crossed that place a few times. I never see that tower. Is that the little it's, hut or the it's little, a little it's, it's a tent. It's a little tent. It's, it's a little tent um, on the southern side of the lagoon. Oh, yes. I think uh, uh, on one of the search and rescues, I think it was uh, Atlas or Hal that showed Hello, that. Hello, Yep, I do remember that one. It, was, it is Hello. right on the edge of the, uh, of the lake. When you are going from, uh, if you take the route from Valentine to uh, Coulter, and you cross uh, the lagoon, it's on the right side. Yeah. So, okay. So, past that. So, you've not been to, you've not been to the, <laughs> the two towers you've not been to are the furthest extremes from each other possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> been to, the two towers you've not been to are the two furthest away towers from each other humanly possible. That's... <laughs> That's okay. quite impressive. Part of me would be like, yeah, let's take you on a tower patrol. But no, I'd have to literally ride you the length of the crossing <laughs> to take you to both towers. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm up for that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, let me see. Only thing I'm thinking is, is uh, we were told by deputies that something might be happening in Torgeries at the moment. Oh, I, I think they all came back, by the way. I did see a couple of deputies wandering. I did. 
I did. I did. Let me just check the tip line quickly anyway. She loses having having war flashbacks of Deuce making her for the tower run. <laughs> <laughs> oh god the tower run i've never done a full tower run with a recruit i've done parts of the tower run but i've never done a full one where i've gone to every tower i'll tell you what why don't the three of us uh why don't we go to have you been out west yet samuel I've been to Tumbleweed to do a delivery. I've been, been to... Oh, so uh, you've, been, you've been fairly far out. Like you've probably ridden by uh, the new Austin Tower. Hello, Nadia. I definitely must have. I just uh, didn't pay much attention to it. Yeah. If you don't know what it is, you probably just haven't uh, uh, paid attention to it. Is, uh, is everything okay? Yep, just coming to check on my favorite rangers and then going off to training, so... Oh... Well, I don't know where your favorite rangers are. They're, they're not here. Um, what do you must, mean? They must be somewhere in else. In front of me. In a oh, woolly jumper. Oh, are you going to make me cry? <laughs> yep. Has this, uh, yep, yep. this tortury situation solved itself? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. I went and collected the, the deputies. Ah, I'm just okay. searching for a potentially missing person. Okay. Uh, missing uh, person who's actually, dangerous? Uh, Lucia Wellmore. Um, I don't think we have an official missing persons, but let me just go ahead and give you the layout of it. Uh, we are looking for any signs of Lucia. Uh, that'd be purple ribbons. Wait, Lu um, wait, is in Transit Authority Lucia? Yes. Oh, God. Okay. She let has been taken me... by a member of the Church of Lost Souls. Excuse so me? we don't want to ask rangers to actively go out and look for her because she is with dangerous people. But if you can look for signs, we've been tracking signs of them from culture. Right. I'll make an MP to... file and I'll be sure to write in there that Lord don't want us to actively go looking for. Just while you're out and about, if you find signs, you need to report them immediately. Um, signs of medical, blood, uh, alchemical symbols. Um, I meant to write this all in a telegram to y'all last night, but we had a really long is, chase. Is I chased a, a fellow all over the is, crossing. Is there a chance you could maybe send us a telegram about it? Um, yeah, just... I'll get with my undersheriff, who is the lead of the liaisons, and see what I can send. Um, but just know that it is um, potentially moved down from Coulter to Big Valley. We found signs of her at Pronghorn today. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so they're actively... Uh, Omen has her, and they're actively moving her. So it that, that should at very least be knowledge at the moment that you need to not approach. If found, you need to just get law. Sure. No, no problem. We're, uh, we're, they have... we're, we're not the approaching people anyway, so... Uh... Good. Yes, please just use caution. Of course. I know a lot of folk love her, so... Yeah, she's, uh, she's a good one, Lucia. Yeah. So. yeah. I'll go talk to my undersheriff right now. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh-huh. All right, well, let me write this up quickly. Oh, some things never change. I hope she's okay. Uh, me too. Can I not find
do 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 The Church of Lost Souls, that's a uh, that's a new one. I'm just going to use the uh, outhouse over there quickly. Yeah, you do what you need to. It's okay. Sorry, I've got to try and write this up quickly. So, uh... oh, no worries. I fuck. I... I forgot to ask the medical to get me uh to train me for the medical stuff. Um, I don't think there's any medics around at the moment, sadly, either. I should have done that before. God. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, look, you don't need to be stabilization trained in order to get your green poncho, so uh, don't worry about it. I didn't get my stabilization training until about a month and a half or two months into actually being a ranger, so. Oh, okay, but uh, I mean, I, I just thought I should get that thing, you know, uh, checked on my, on my to-do list. No, no, absolutely. Uh, maybe I can do it tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. I should have already sent the telegram before I started the, the exploration. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how is uh, Ranger Madison? She was uh, hurt during one of the patrols. I'm not too sure. Can't say I have uh, seen her last time I saw. Hello, Rain. How are you? Hello there. How are you? Well, how are you? I'm doing very good, thank you. I'm doing very good. Good, good. Who uh, is this? Have we met? This. I'm is, Samuel. Samuel this, Whitman. Yeah, this is recruit Samuel Whitman. Well, pleasure to meet you. My name is Rain. Ranger Rain. I uh, was just looking at what he's got left on his uh, pleasure to meet you. His checklist. Um, yep. He's not been to all the towers. Guess which two towers he's not been to, <laughs> Rain. Hmm. The ones in the snow. No, no. It's it's much worse than that. It's the two that are the furthest away from each other possible. Lemoyne. I knew Austin. Austin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, I will be clocking on soon, so if you want some company for this uh, this patrol, well, I'll be happy moment, to oblige. At the moment, I'm writing up an MP file, I'm afraid. Damn. So. Oh. Hey, you got it. The Is it someone we nice. know? Yes, thank Lucia. You. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, know, from, really from Bluestone Transit? Yep. Yep, Shit, how long has she been missing for? Uh, Maybe I'll come with she's been you taken to the, by the a group called the uh, the Church of Lost Souls. Yep. Um, um, I might are have are seen a, the tower along the way, but they I are might a have not no paid approach much group. attention to it. They before. are a, we do it's, not approach that there. group if 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 we see them. We are out if we go out looking for her, we are going out looking for clues of her. Um, that Church is, that of is Lost all, Souls. That is all we are. Uh, that is all we are looking for. I don't think I've heard of this group. Uh, I can't say either, to be honest, but then again, I feel like new groups pop up every day here in the crossing, so who knows. Uh, when, you, when you're free, Pugs, do you think you can show me the, uh, the clipboard? Oh, wait, hold on a hold on a hold on a second. Oh. Hold, hold on a second. Rain, I'm holding. rain, rain, rain. Is that a green poncho I see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, when did Come on, that is a very green poncho. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well yeah. done. Yeah, if you just give Appreciate me it. one minute or two, probably about five, Dolan, I will show you the clipboard. Yeah, all right? I mean, I can walk him through it if you like. I mean, yeah, if you want to walk him through it, then then go. Time well, do you want to walk him through it? Uh. Are you gonna Are you gonna be all sad if I do it? No, I'm not gonna be sad if you do it. Go on. 
This is uh, right. Rain. Rain is one of our queens of paperwork. To be fair, so there's if there's one person to show you, it's I, definitely I'm the Rain. queen of paperwork. Actually, queen of the, paperwork. I'm honored. the queen. Yeah, true. I'm the princess All of right. paperwork. So you are Sir Pugsley, knight of paperwork. Actually, yeah, actually, that's it. Yeah. Yep. All right. You said your name's Dalton. Have we, have we met? I don't think we have. I'm Dalton Cornwall. Well, nice to meet you, uh, nice to meet Rain you as well. Farley. Um, if you want to come around back with me, I can run you through how it all works. Sounds good. Pardon me. Oh, uh, Rain. Yeah. When when you're done with Dalton, uh, just want to talk to you for like five minutes. That's if that's all right. You're not in of trouble. Of course you can. You're not in trouble. It's just uh, just want to oh, talk to oh, you. Oh, I know. Something. I know. I'm never in trouble. <laughs> I'm pretty much off. <laughs> All righty, so. Oh. Not to approach approach them. Um, we are not to approach them. Instead, I'm going to uh oh who uh. Oh, for God's sakes, what's going on here? We asked to control V, perhaps that's um, law. Immediately. So we are to telegram law immediately. 28. Remember, Lucia is last. Evidence of Luce, uh, evidence of Lucia's whereabouts was last seen at Pronghorn Pronghorn Ranch in Big Valley. Here we go. Righty, sorry about that, Samuel. I feel like I have. No just, I, I feel like I've been very ignorant to everybody whilst I've been writing out copious amounts of paperwork. What a horrible person! Give oh, me a you know puncher. what? It's uh, Excuse me. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? I'm about to write some more. <laughs> This one won't be as long, though. This one won't be as long. I'm not writing a whole new file. I'm just adding something to the general news. Well, to be honest, I could see your hair going grey by the moment. Oof. I'm just that, kidding. That felt mean. <laughs> that felt mean. <laughs> Ew, that's a cougar kill. Seen a couple of them today. So, a question. Sure. If uh, along the way, if I find a pack of wolves, should I try to make them go around and just, you know, get them confused or should I kill them? Uh, are you talking about if you're out somewhere and you see a pack of wolves, like near a road or anything like that? Yeah, like uh, absolutely. I was coming uh, from uh, d dispatch them if from you can. I know. Wait, I was coming from roads to uh, strawberry. Along the way, I saw some wolves. Well, uh, uh, when he crossed the river. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would call them absolutely. Um, 
if you don't call them, then they could cause um, they could cause issue for somebody else. They could get somebody else on the ground. You know, cause potential damage. Could even potentially kill somebody. Um, so you know, um, it's just a good habit to have that if you're out somewhere and you see a pack of wolves, even if you've not got your poncho on and you're out somewhere and a dangerous animal attacks you, just you let your ranger instincts kick in straight away. Okay. Um, you know, you just deal with it there and then. Um, sometimes if I run into a situation like that, I'll actually put my poncho on so that if somebody comes by, um, even if I'm not marked as on duty, you know, cause I can only really mark on duty whilst mm -hmm. I'm at a ranger tower. I'll just put my poncho on just so that somebody can see, oh, somebody official is dealing with this. You know, it's not just some, it's okay. not just a hunter or anything. It's uh, they see that somebody official is dealing with it. Okay. Yeah. That's a, uh, that's the question because, uh, well, basically i tried to just uh elude them away from the road and then it's they not got the worst idea and... it's not the That's worst it. idea absolutely but the thing is is like if you just leave them then they could always wander back to the road because there's always going to be somebody to wander by um you know so That's true. um and with the me and pack animals they do get confident you know they they do they do get confident and they will think you know well there's four of us there's one of him we can deal with that you know so that makes sense. Okay. Pugsley, have you seen the thing, the recent general information? Uh, which one? The, the man in the golden mask thing? It, yeah. Yes, I am aware of that. I've already, uh, I've already spoken to Laura about that myself. I want to find okay. out um, exactly what we can and can't say. But on that kind of situation, what I will say is for the moment... Um, you know, if anybody approaches you and asks you questions you feel uncomfortable answering, just don't tell them that you're a ranger. Just don't tell yeah. them. Um, you know, if uh, if people start questioning, is oh, you know, do you work for the state? What do you do? You know, and they're they're acting weird. You just you just tell them that you just uh, you know I just go out hunting or or whatever. You know, you just don't mm. uh, you know don't. Uh, That's what I do. You know, don't uh, don't don't uh, you don't need to give them all the information. Still can't believe there's a gang who call themselves the Dirty Boys. It might honestly be one of the worst names I've ever heard. <laughs> That's a, a hell of a name. They, they it's a crap name. Really dirty. It's a crap name. I thought gang names were meant to be like, you know, intimidating, you know? Yeah, that's true. You know, and it's like, oh, you're being robbed by the Dirty Boys. And you go, oh, stay away, please. <laughs> Get back. You stink, you know? Maybe Tim Turd should join them. <laughs> Laboratory. Yep. Making sure my spelling's right. Please be careful when running out into that area. Um, especially on your own. They are dangerous. And you'll love you. They get the opportunity. Stay safe.
this is all I'm doing, is I'm just writing paperwork over and over. This is all I've done, like, the entire time today. Right, as far as I'm aware, that is all of my paperwork. As far as I'm aware. That's good. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how much paperwork do you do? A lot. <laughs> I was about to say okay. a day, but then uh, I changed my mind and said, you know, about an hour. All right, thank you. I'll get it added to the uh, to the um, file. As soon as I can get an updated description over, I'll get it to you, okay? Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I thought I was done with paperwork. I'm now not done with paperwork. Uh, here we go again. Paperwork round two. Holy fuck. <laughs> uh, just, uh, you just finished it. Nope. That's a lie. Never finished it. Uh, I, I come back to my question. How much the paperwork do you do in uh, about an hour? Well... I do more paperwork than James does, for example, because I'm a senior. That makes sense. So you're saying that uh, James should do more paperwork? <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to go into my own head for a moment. Just uh, repeat what you said for me. No, 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 no worries, no worries. I mean, I'm just making some jokes here. Ah, uh, fair enough. Does anybody need anything to eat or drink? I'm going to the saloon to grab something. I am okay, I'll thank you very you. much, but I appreciate the offer. All right. You coming? Okay. Yeah, I'll come with you. Thanks. Right, let's see uh, if you've seen any signs of arcana drawings, weeping eyes, eyes in general, use medical size, purple claws, or cats carved into things. Let's see. Boop. Um, uh, eyes in general, you, right, okay. I'll leave that uh, full caps, but I'll change this. Weeping eyes. Eyes. Weep, we, weeping eyes. Weeping eyes. Well, God damn it. Weeping eyes. <laughs> eyes in general. <laughs> God's sake. Use medical supplies. Purple arctic. Purple articles of clothing or cats carved into things. To. To. Uh, control V. Telegram. Law. In the. Immediately. Uh. Uh. Cats carved into things to telegram law immediately. Uh. Does go by. Let's see. Here. I think yeah. Um, save. Check in file.
Uh, now let's just remove that. And then we are done, I believe. Yeah. Check in file done. Uh, right. That is all sorted. Jesus. I am. I have been so goddamn busy with stuff today. I've actually been really busy seeing you, Steve. Seeing seeing your Steve. Uh. I tell you what. We'll just grab that. We'll put that back in the. Uh. I'll just mark myself as responding, but then I'll also resolve it because I have added it to. And then. Uh. And I'll just, um, I'll just add it in here one more time just to make sure there's nothing I've missed. Uh, as of 2602. I'm guessing they're inside here. Uh, as 2602, Lucia has been taken by the Curse of Lost Souls and is currently missing. We are not asking Rangers to actively go looking for Lucia. What was oh, that? there's an upstairs door. You can't go up there. That's sad. No, you cannot go upstairs, sadly. Yeah, over the door. There we go. Yep. <laughs> I made it out. Without anybody locking me in. I mean, I can lock you in if you want. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, accidentally locking me in. I can perfectly lock you in if you want. Enjoying the stew. Was not to. Disaster's not. Disaster's not to go out looking for Lucia. But if we see this group. Save. Now I need to start making some money Lord's so that I can get not a, to go out looking a decent for Lucia. Wagon. If uh, Laura's asked us not to go out looking for Lucia, but if we see this group, we are not to approach them. Do you um, do some of the ball jobs on your uh, your free time? Uh, yep. Uh, uh, I like to do lumber immediately. Jack. We've been told that if we see any signs before. of alchemical I've drawings, I've never uh, done that. Ah, uh, it's uh. Pretty chemical good, drawings, yeah. weeping Take eyes, an eyes in general, youth tree. medical supplies, we'll purple eyes, three small logs. cats carved into things to telegram law immediately. Pick a log. Uh, 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 yeah, I think... The bad thing is that you cannot put the log on the horse or anything. You just have to pick every uh, pick a log every time. So hmm. take it to the, uh, telegram is take CD it to the uh, right? place where you chop it down. CD704, yep, yep, yep. Then you get some yep. chopped wood if, you know, the job is of chopped wood. Otherwise, you can use that log and make some planks if you have a handsaw. Seven zero four. Sure, yeah, you know. Oh, this dude is good. Rains added itself to the meeting. Fantastic. So yeah, sometimes you have to do a delivery at six places. Uh, at about six places. Sometimes you have to do like four places. Sometimes two places, and. Uh, Every time you drop uh, uh, a few logs at the delivery location, they pay you. Uh, do, 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 right, do, okay. do. I had I saw one the other day for lemonade. It was like two hundred and fifty dollars. Alrighty. Oh yeah, that one. I'll be back in a second. No worries. I find a lemon to make a lemon. I know a guy who built. Square bracket PTRL for patrol. Square bracket, SNR for search and rescue, MP for missing person, so on. Now, uh, all you're going to do is copy over that report name and then put it into your new one, except you are going to change the day. So it would be November 29th, 1902. You're going to do the same thing for the summary, just copy it straight into your new one. And how then. You copy it, sir. Or... I don't know if I can copy this. You one. are, you're just showing him all the things he needs to know. 
Yeah, we're just going through um, Creighton reports, and then I'm going to send him off to read the read first, and then he should be good to go. Ooh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Shouldn't be too long. Be about five, ten minutes. No, it's, it, there's no rush. There's no rush. Honestly, uh, you're fine. Um, Time to rush. Time to go fast. No, right no, now. <laughs> just, uh, End seen, of the world. I've seen that Olive's around somewhere. I don't know where, but she's on duty. But oh. I'm not, not sure where. She's probably at Manzanillo. She likes to work from Manzanillo. So. I see. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave you two to it. Alrighty. So if I'm not wrong, uh, each lemon must cost around uh, three dollars, somewhere around three three dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Know it. We'll be in Manzanita for a bit if anyone needs me, leaving Armadillo shortly. But, uh, I, I know it. That. I've done some uh, some ranch work. I've done some milk deliveries. I mean, milk deliveries is where I started at everything. Mm-hmm. It was a. Uh, who was it? Uh, Under Sheriff uh, Chevy, I guess her name was. Chevalier. She's uh, that yeah. is now that is now Sheriff Chevalier. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That that was a long time ago. It must have been a, a month ago. Yeah. Long time. She showed ago. me how to how to milk the cows <laughs> and get the milk and and boil the milk. She's really nice. Uh, <laughs> she likes him to say good like five six months ago. He yeah. says one month. Chev Chev's. She's really nice, Shevers. Really nice. Right. I am going to be taking a trip to Manzanita Post because I'm going to go and speak to uh, one of our game wardens who is over there. Um, right. So, oh, actually, uh, no, I'm not. I tell you, a lie. Uh, you want us to come? Uh no, because it's gonna be a it's got to be a senior conversation I'm gonna have. So, uh, but I need to actually wait here anyway. Uh, first of all, because I'm gonna speak to somebody else first. I'm gonna speak to Rain first. So, right, she around? Uh, she's round back teaching Dalton the ways of the clipboard. So, uh huh. Thank you. You know what might be, uh, James, why don't you, uh, why don't you take James to, uh, like, uh, why don't you take Samuel to, like, Lemoyne Tower or something? Sounds good. I was going to ask you just a minute ago, is there anything we can do to sort of yeah, me staring around on the I porch? Would, yeah, yeah, because like yeah. I say, I've got a couple of, uh, I've got a couple of things I still need to do, so I would come with you, but, uh. Yeah, no, that's fine. Got some, got some things I do need to go and do, so, uh, you know, why don't you, uh, you know. Why don't we make the use of the time that Samuel's here? Let's get him out. Let's get him out somewhere. Let's get him seeing one of these towers. Take your pick, Samuel. That sounds what one do you want to go to? <laughs> you want to go left or right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a missing person, by the way. Uh, yeah, I've already uh, written the file up for it. All right, then. The one that just came in? What tower do you want to go to? Oh, no, not that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's start with oh, the hang on. Then, Stay then, uh... There might be... Oh, what? you know what? Let's uh, let's 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 go to New Austin. Do you say there's a missing person? Uh, not in the not not an injured person. No, you you missing. Yeah, uh, right. yeah, like an actual missing person. So, uh, yeah. Oh, let's uh, let's go to the. You know what the, you're doing in terms of writing up your patrol Cholos paperwork, place. right? Um. I haven't done the patrol one yet. I've done the obviously the search and rescue, but not the patrol. Okay, let me show you how to do that quickly. So, uh, get your clipboard right. up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new report, and you're going you're gonna to pick a case file, mm -hmm. and you're going to then what you're going to do is, is when you go to create, you're going to pick patrol slash escort. As your uh, configuration. And then just choose that. Yep. And, and it'll have everything basically planned out there for you. So, in report name, you want to write square bracket PTRL, close square bracket. And then a report name of where you're going. So, in this case, you can just type in, uh, you can just write there even. Uh, 
uh, Lemoyne Tower run, for example. Uh, I was thinking we could do the uh, the Chola Springs run. Oh well, either way, you you know whichever. Sorry, what did you say to put in the? Sorry, what did you say to put in the uh, the bracket? Sorry. Uh, the the letters P T R L. So you're essentially spelling patrol just without any of the vowels. Yeah. Okay. And then obviously, you know, he wants to do the New Austin Tower run. So New Austin Tower. So you just you just uh, as the report name would just be next to that, you just write New Austin Tower run. Uh, now, in the summary, you can just write, for example, uh, taking a recruit to the New Austin Tower or something like that. Just something very brief just to describe what the what the actual patrol is. Yeah. Then once that's done, you uh, you uh, uh, you get the date and time up like you usually would. Okay. Uh, and then attending underneath, you do it like you do it on the tip line. So if you filled out the tip line, it's exactly the same. Howdy. So you know what you can kind of, uh, kind of include somebody's citizen file in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So exactly the same. So obviously yourself. And then generally, if you've got a recruit with you, I would write the letters RR for Ranger Recruit and then include their file name there. But you don't need to put R next to yourself. Just only put RR next to a Ranger yeah. Recruit. Okay. And then... Uh, underneath there where it says your planned route uh, just write what your planned route is so you know uh, let's say you go from Strawberry to Blackwater to Armadillo to New Austin Tower and then back to Strawberry um, you would just uh, you would just write that generally a lot of people will, will shorten it they would just write the place they're going then they'll use a then they'll just write a little arrow next to it uh, and then the next place a little arrow next place a little arrow next place a little arrow so on and so forth Yep, done that. And then... And, and then in the... The only box you'd have to fill in after that is activity notes, but your activity notes can basically just be more a slightly more explained version of your summary. So if that was me writing it up, I would just write uh, taking a recruit to the New Austin Tower um, will call any animal dens if needed on the way. Or whilst on patrol. i just write something like that. And then the only thing you'd need to do past that is obviously uh, make sure you've made a hard copy of that file and check it in. Um, you know, and then uh, you fill the rest in when you get back. I can check it before you leave if you want, just to make sure you've done it all right. Uh, yes, if this is okay. Yeah, it's pretty much spot on. I maybe would stop in a, uh, as opposed to stopping at Blackwater, I'd maybe stop in at Armadillo instead. Quick question. So you see that's on the front, uh, the front page now. Yep. How does that get removed? Do, do, would one of you do that? Or? Um, so we can sort that actually when you get back. So don't worry about that too much right now. Um, we can, we can go through that with you when you, when you get back. All right. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, that's so a, I've done that's a whole other thing. That's a whole Thank other you very thing. Much. Yeah, because I've done the uh, search and patrol uh, paperwork, but I ain't done that one. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. So uh, yeah, your your patrol paperwork looks fine though. Looks fine to me. Um. So uh, yeah, be uh be safe on your patrol. Shall do. Where's my horse? Okay. Can hear her. Where is she? Uh, your horse will be rustling somewhere. Uh, up on the cliff, I think. Oh yeah, I can see <laughs> your horse is your horse is oh. up there. Your it's coming down. It's coming down. Thank God she didn't jump. <laughs> Do you know uh, the other day I saw a uh, 
I saw a, a local standing on top of the building over there, on top of the roof. I couldn't believe it. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised in the slightest. Hello, Lucille. Oh, God damn it, my team speed crashed. My team speed crashed. God damn it. God damn it. All right, hold on. Team speak. Speak team. Never ever just works, does it? Is it going to work right now? Oh, no, no, it's not. Not yet. Not yet. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. I can't believe we only got to patrol once before you got your green. I'm so mad. Oh, I know. All right. They both deserve it. Got that, got that dirt out of my ears now. Are you sure? They're a little bit. I don't know. There, there's something in there. Howdy. I don't know if it's dirt. Howdy, Rosa. How are you? Might uh, but have a terrific stream. That's no problem. Jeez. What are you, hey, what are, you, what are you staring at me like that for? Hmm? You got hmm? you got sand in your ears or something? What is that? Uh, mm. There's like grains in there. They're, they're, they're like embedded in there. Oh, hopefully. actually, I've got some news for you, actually. I've got some news for you, right? Oh. It's it's bad news, but it's it's kind of like sandwiching <laughs> some good news, right? Okay. okay, what's the bad news? Tell so me the bad news the, first. The bad news is, is last week I fell down the ladder hole at the Amberino Tower and fractured my skull, right? Oh, oh. But you want to know what the good news is? What was the good news? They found a brain in my head. Congratulations. The, don't tell me that's what you Thank wanted you to talk too. to me about. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. But okay, that's that's some that's some other news in the in are the. You, in are the you wood. okay? Are you are you meant to be working right now? It was only last week. I got a metal plate in my head. I'm all fine now. Well, I'm fine. -ish. A, a plate in your head. Uh, okay. Well, much. yeah, in the back uh, of my head, there's a metal plate in there. Get myself a Lancaster right now. Um, wow, just you're, a, you're a metal man. Uh, we're no, you we're both bad right now. Ask a question or something. You want to ask me a question? Yeah, I'll come. All right, sounds good. Yeah, you know, just just, just to check if everything's fine, you know. Oh yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, look, it was, oh, a, yeah, it was I'm fine. It was a bad fracture, you know. They had to take a little bit. They had to take a little bit of a chip out of my skull. They had to drain some fluid that apparently was around my brain at the time. Oh um, god, did they dr like drill a drill a hole in you? They didn't have to drill the hole because there was already oh, a hole. It was already there. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh oh god. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yep. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I've never seen anybody say Those thank you after nice getting hug. punched in the face before. That's um <laughs> I, I have. I enjoy that for <laughs> Ray. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, I will say we, no more on that. Uh, shall we, yeah, shall let's we, go talk. Let's go talk. Let's go catch up. I'm gonna walk all over that bench because that is that is my bench now. It's your bench. Yep. Might be magnetic. Beware of the criminal me. school walking towards you with a magnet. How are Thank you, Mr. You. Pugsley? What's I'm, new with you? I'm doing good. Well, besides actually having a brain now. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you do. Uh, thank now, you very much. You, did, you didn't before? Yeah, debatable. Um, debatable. Um, no, to be honest, this is more of just a, um, a se semi-senior chat. Sem semi-senior chat. I say semi-senior chat just because obviously... You know, we've got the ranger meet coming up with the weekend and I want to try and be, um, you know, as uh, as kind of open as a senior to people as possible and kind of let people know, obviously, they can talk to me and so on and so forth. And I know you you know you can, but, um, you know, and I'm not asking you to be like, oh, spread the word for me, so on and so forth, you know, like, you know, like tell people I'm great, whatever. But, um, you know, I'm just asking more than anything if you've got a... Uh, any concerns or anything really at the moment in the rangers anything that's kind of on your mind or anything like that anything that um you know either i can help you with or i can maybe find somebody to to to, to help you with so on and so forth really uh hmm I think the only concern I have is is about this grudge being held against me, but I think that's something that that isn't going to change for yeah. a while. So yeah, no, that's un no, that's uh, that's understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's kind of my only concern, really, is is just the fact that I'm working my ass off and not getting treated fairly. But mm. okay, all right, okay. Yeah, that's that's about it, really. Okay, that's fair enough. That's, uh, that is fair enough. That is fair enough. Yeah, like I said, I just wanted to make sure everything was okay and that 
you know, you got no issues. I want to try and see if at least at some point this week I can try and grab every ranger that I see and just, you know, kind of say to them like, hey, you know, is everything okay, you know, and, you know, nothing, uh, there's no problems at all, so on and so forth. You know, I want to try and, I want to try and be, uh, I say quite an active senior in that way, but I want to try and be quite an active senior in that way. You remind me so much of myself when I first got senior. Trying too hard. That is that is exactly <laughs> no. Oh my lord, no. That is exactly what I did. Is go around to everyone, pull everyone aside, even the people who wouldn't talk to me, like Deuce, who just gave me like one worded answers when I talked to him. Pulled them all around the back and said, "Is, is there anything you're worried about? Is there anything I can help with?" Yeah. Yeah. No. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Oh, I appreciate that, Rain. I do. I do very much appreciate that. Yeah, as your friend, I would tell you if you're trying too hard. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I'm about to go and prod Olive, to be fair. She's at Manzanillo, so I'm about to just be like, hey, yeah, 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 you know, so. Um, oh, yeah. And I've already, been in, uh, I've already been in bothered, uh, uh, I've already been in bothered uh, Deuce. I asked him for his advice about being a senior, so. Well, if you want my advice, Avery, you just let me know. Advice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you know, I was a senior in one of the most turbulent times in the Rangers. So, <laughs> well, yeah. What I guess if I want to be a good senior, what advice have you got for me? Hmm. I think for me, and I, I think maybe also for you, balance is going to be the biggest thing, because I. I never had that ability to be in conflict with rangers that weren't doing their jobs. You know, there's this one time I had to pull Alabaster aside, who is arguably the oldest and grumpiest ranger of all of us. <laughs> uh, he never comes around anymore, but when he does, he constantly talks about how, oh, this is how we used to do it, and I'm not going to do it any other way, blah, blah, blah. I had to reprimand him as a new senior. And I also had to have some very difficult conversations with the ranger who was just not performing. And I think it's good to be nice, but it, you also have to set yourself pretty hard limits. You've got to be firm but fair is what you're saying. Exactly. And people people can't see you as a pushover. Yeah. And that, I'm not saying that's how you come across because it's not, but... Oh, dang. You know, <laughs> <laughs> when I went around to everyone asking how everyone was and offering my support and offering my care and, you know, they used to call me the mother of the rangers, you know, that was all well and good. But then people thought they could be lax around me and mm -hmm. people started to, to slip up. People started to abuse the fact that, you know, they thought that they were friends with me. Right. And you, you have to set a pretty firm boundary between, you know, friend and superior yeah you have to be able to call that in and and action that and not be afraid yeah you know to say well i am a senior and this is what i'm saying you know and, and sometimes you have to do that and, and pull rank on some of your best friends yeah which is hard but like you said firm but fair and you know you you have to show both sides of that coin to people otherwise they're either going to think you're unapproachable and cold and mean or they're going to think that you're, you know, a big softy that they can just throw around. Yeah. So I would say the biggest thing is is finding, finding that firmness and being able to, to act on that and exercise that. Um, but doing it in a way that you show that it comes from a place of, of love for the Rangers. Yeah. No, absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's going to be my biggest challenge, to be fair. I think it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're you're a very friendly guy. You're a very, very cheery, very gentle man. I could be angry. Look at me, I'm so angry. Oh my god, do swear! I can't believe you're back. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I went too far in the other direction, which is something you want to avoid. I mean, I, I think I just shut down with everything going on, and and the fact that. You know, I had recruits coming up to me and showing attitude to me over what happened to Nathan and Isla. And 
people asking things that they shouldn't and saying things that they shouldn't and just being assholes to be honest and it got to me to a point where I just I just shut down I went cold I went stoic I, I wasn't doing what I loved anymore I was man in the fort but I was doing it you know in a very cold-hearted way yeah so don't let yourself get dragged to that side because being a senior it will come and oh, yeah. you will face that challenge oh yeah oh yeah well, we take one step at a time and we go from there. That we do. But I appreciate your advice, Ray. I do. Of course. Anytime. If I can't be one, I can at least help the ones who are. Exactly. You can you can be a senior vicariously through me. You I know, I think I can't I, give away I, all the I, secrets though. I can't give away all the secrets though, obviously, you know. You know. I find out enough through my own means. It's fine. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I've got at least three different people who will happily tell me everything that's going on at any given well, time. Not me. Not me. Not you. Not no. me. No. Never. Game warden's pet. Yeah. Somebody's got to be a brown noser. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, Pugsley. I'm going to go check my telegrams. Um, get some water, and then hopefully I have enough energy to do something today, because goddamn. Well, I'm going to go to Manzanita Post and, and, and bog Olive, so. Until she tells me to leave or shoots me or something, or, one of, or feeds me to a bear, something like that, so. If you find out anything about me, not saying tell me everything, but, uh. Tell you what you can. Yeah, I, I'd appreciate that. I, I wish I could not be in the dark anymore because, I mean, Buzz is leaving. You, you know, it, I mean, I guess Deuce is, is still... He's not a senior anymore. Wait, he's not? No. Fucking hell. He's, uh, he's back, but he is... There's been nothing written of it uh, about demotion or anything, but he is not a senior anymore. He is just a ranger. Huh. Well, he was a game warden, wasn't he? So. Yep. Well, you know what I mean. He's not on the senior team. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know anyone else in the senior or game warden category who would have a problem with me coming back up. The only thing I can think of is they're too scared to go against what Buzz thinks is right and uh, haven't found their foot in yet with that. No. I'll speak to I'll speak to Oliver about it and, and and see. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. I just need an answer. I need to know if it's if it's more time, if it's more effort that I need to be putting in. If you know, if they're never gonna give it to me again, I, I just need a I need a straight answer. Yeah, to no, be honest. I understand. I understand. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna head off to Manzanita. So uh, it's good seeing you. It was. I, it's uh, good to see you I too. May, I may be back around if you're if you're still here. I may be back around for a little bit. All right. So we'll uh, see. We'll see how but, things uh, go. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know how long I'm going to be chatting to Olive for, but hopefully, uh, I've uh, I've not caught up with her in a little bit. So I've got a couple of things I could be talking to her about. To be fair. So. Right. Alrighty. Enjoy uh, your chat. I shall. Don't get eaten by a bear, please. Well, I'll get stabbed by one instead. I'm fine with that. Maybe they'll shoot me this time instead. You know, maybe. Depends if how so, much smarter they get. Yeah. will be there to find you. <laughs> I'll see you later. See ya. Let's go to Manzanita Post. Before figuring out the brain rented out a room up there, it was unexplored wonders, wasn't it? <laughs> go away, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's funny I'll give you that <laughs> god damn you
Oh, I mean, I shouldn't really ride this way to to torture to Manzanita Post, but we are going to ride this way to Manzanita Post. We are. Shortcut just up here, so we skip out of the bridge. And then we keep riding. I don't often ride down this road. It's not the nicest of roads to ride down, to be fair. But it's uh, it's a different route through tall trees that uh, a lot of the time people don't take. A lot of people will go just through the plains and up uh, past uh, Beaches Hope or Kerrigan's Ranch. But I, I like to ride this way. I do. I used to, when I used to... Uh, when I was first playing Pugsley, Pugsley used to do a bit of treasure hunting and he used to ride this way towards Aurora Basin where he knew that there was um, some treasure spots. He used to always ride this way. Um, but we are now going to ride down here. See if we can find ourselves one Olive Hellman. What are you running from? I don't even know what you were looking from. You didn't even react to anything. It's fine. It's whatever. Let's see if I can find me an Olive Hellman. I see what looks to be Olive's horse. I also see Olive and Cayenne. Hello, Olive. Why Pugsley smells so bad. Oh, hello, Pugsley. Oh, wow. Wow. I'll remember that. Howdy, Bugsley. I didn't even hear what she said. Uh, you were just not paying attention. I am very not paying attention right now. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. I'm okay. I um. What what was I going to do? Oh, I kind of need to talk to you about some scenery things, but if you're in the middle of a conversation with Kaya and it can wait. I will fuck off. <laughs> Wow, right. was it, was it um, that easy? Yeah, she scared me. Terrified of me. Oh. She knows that I'll hang her up from one of these redwood trees by her waist and spin it around. And it, How can I help? <laughs> uh, what was I going to talk about? Uh, yeah, so... I uh, wrote in the... Uh, general news uh is senior news about um the man with the golden mask yeah um i mm -hmm. spoke to Oya about it uh Oya didn't know how much she could tell me about it so she gave me some brief information and then i wrote up just a i say just a quick file it was just a quick thing basically i just wrote up uh just uh with it in um it's just with the information in for the moment because I didn't want to turn it into a proper investigation file or anything because obviously it's, um, you know, quite bad. But I haven't really put anything extra in the general news yet besides what Topanga's wrote. Um, that reminds me, actually, I need to reach out to Topanga. I've completely forgotten to do it. But um, I've been caught up doing 101 other things at the same time. Um, but I know the feeling. I... Uh, I've had a bit of a busy senior day, actually. I have. I've been, uh, I've been sort of running around like a crazy person today. That's uh, good. And trying to, trying to, trying to catch up with people, and uh, especially before the meeting, just see if anybody's got any kind of last minute concerns, kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. Something I'm going to try and do all week if I can. See if I can just catch people, because um, I, I really want to be quite an active senior as well. I really want to try and kind of, uh, kind of You've check. Been in. incredibly active. Which, I mean, it's very apparent. Sorry, I keep cutting you off. Go ahead. No, no, if I, I just want to 
make sure that everybody's doing okay and so on and so forth. I'm just if I'm overstepping my mark though, just 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 tell me and I'll stop. But not at all. It just I want you to make sure that you aren't going too hard and pushing yourself further than you know. I need to, yeah. Then no. you need to. There are other seniors that you can rely on. There are game wardens that you can rely on. Like it, things don't all fall onto your shoulders. So make sure you know your own limits. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and you don't burn the candle at both ends. No, no, of course, absolutely. Okay, all right. No, no, as absolutely. long as you're not doing that, go ham. No, 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 abs absolutely. I, I know there's other seniors. Is uh, at the moment, I feel like there's not uh, the, the seniors who would be around at my time haven't always been around. So. Um, I've been, uh, catching the load as such, and it's been okay, it's, uh, it's, it's nothing completely, uh, too heavy, just filling in some paperwork here or there, so on and so forth, you know, just okay. writing, writing in the senior news, so, um, I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling overwhelmed if, if, if that's what you, Good. if that's what your worry is, anything like that. That is my worry, that is um, always my worry. <laughs> <laughs> Before uh, you continue. Okay. How are just how are you? How are you doing, writers over to the right? Oh no, it's wagon. Never mind. I'm I'm doing okay. I am. I'm doing okay. okay. I'm uh, well. I uh, I fractured my skull last Monday. Um, I fell down the ladder hole at Amberino Tower. Um, oh my God! Of all places that you could have. Yep. Uh, they had to take a chipped piece of skull out of my head. I had to drain Ooh. some. They had to drain some fluid from my brain, but good news, they found a brain. Um, you know that's a positive. Some it, people it just there's just like a little raisin. Yep, you know. So they they found a brain. I don't know how big it is, but it's in there. Um, you it know, it is a size. Yep. Do doctor said there was a brain in there, so uh, you know, um, you know, I was uh, really uh, glad to hear that. Absolutely. Um, really glad to hear that. Um, and then I've now got a metal plate in the back of my head. I am cleared for duty again. Don't worry about that. I'm not wearing a poncho when I shouldn't be. Nothing like that. I'm not that stupid. Okay. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not stepping outside of my, uh, out of my limits or anything like that. Um, good. It, it, uh, it wasn't. Because then I'd have to punch you in back but, uh, your metal head. I was, uh. I was feel <laughs> it might hurt you more than it would hurt me. <laughs> Probably, but it'd be funny in the moment. It wouldn't that, be funny, but it would be funny. I don't know if it's gonna sound like one of them big gongs, you know, where it's like bong. <gasps> you know. Where's a hammer? No, uh, maybe not. Where's a hammer? <laughs> no, no. Look at that big old wrench. No, no, oh, no. That'd be perfect. No. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. <laughs> no, 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 no. Smell no. something no. odd. No, okay. no, no. Okay. No. All right. No. <laughs> I'm glad that you are okay. But uh. Past that, I guess I um. I don't know. I guess with the senior thing, it's kind of like a. I kind of don't really know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Really, um, mm -hmm. I'm just sort of. I've just sort of been winging it and thinking I'm doing the right thing, but I've never well, really what do you been have questions sure. About? Um, I don't because really I was know. never shown anything. I don't nothing. I don't really like I, I don't really know. I'm just sort of um I just don't know, you know? I'm just kind of like uh you do you know what you're like what does being a senior if you ready for this? What does being a senior mean to you? What is it what does it mean to me? I mean, mhm. Mm a one time, th this is going to sound really bad, but you know, but bear with me when I t when I talk about this, right? Well, so, um, you know, a, a one time, a few months ago, like being a senior meant everything to me, right? It it, it meant everything to me in in being a ranger, right? And like I wanted nothing more than to 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 be a senior, but I didn't want to be a senior for the for the right reasons, right? So. You know, I've had. Did you want to? Did you look at it as recognition and a status rather than? But it wasn't. This it, is. But it wasn't. It wasn't status that I wanted to lord around everybody here. Was the thing. I understand that. I wanted to. It was. 
basically, I, I send letters home to my mum and dad and my family, um, probably like every month or so, as well as some money. Because um, mm-hmm. having nine children, including myself, is rather expensive. And, I'd imagine so. Uh, you know, my parents and my family mostly work in a factory, so it's quite low income, you know, and I'm paid decently here and I can afford to essentially look after all of them. Um, so I do. Uh, but uh, my parents aren't really exactly uh, keen on what I do. They don't really get why I'd go out and risk myself every day, risk my life every day for, um, well, for other people in in, in the act of doing what I do, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And, like, they've never really understood it. So, you know, uh, they got a a letter through one day saying that I'd been impaled upon a knife after being attacked by a bear, and they were pretty demanding that I came home. Um, you know, and, you know, after that ordeal and, you know, how there was that time I sort of messed up and was doing medical stuff I shouldn't have been doing and whatever. And I just, I like kind of really was struggling at at, at kind of around that time. I sort of went, you know what? I don't want to be a senior. I don't want this. I just, I don't know if I want to be a ranger anymore. I, I actually almost applied to be a medic at the time, funnily enough, um, you know, uh, and I've not told many people that, but, um, you know, I, I, I didn't want it anymore. I didn't, I, it just, mm-hmm. it, it was, it was, it felt more like a, it just, it felt more like a, something that was just never going to happen. And I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't want it. It's, it's nothing to do with me. I, I, I don't care. And then like in the past, maybe month or two, I sort of. I don't know, my mind sort of changed on it, I guess. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to be a senior, but I don't not want to be a senior at the same time. And like, that's the right mindset to have. I was like, it, I was like it's not I, something you should lord over people and go, was, look at me, I'm a senior. It was, so. I, my, my full process behind it was quite simply, if they want to give me senior, I'll take it. But if not, I can do everything else that I've already been doing. Mm-hmm. And and that's the right attitude to have, in, and, in my and personal changes. opinion. And, yeah. and I can do everything that a senior does without the senior paperwork. Mm-hmm. You know? Would you like me to tell you something that I haven't told maybe more than one or two people? I mean, if you want to share it. At the Ranger Ball... I had decided that day that I I was contemplating leaving the Rangers. What, the Not day because were, the of... The day you were made a game warden? The day I was made a game warden. Wow. Because I felt very lost. Nobody really told me what to do with senior stuff. Nobody... I, I rarely ever saw anybody that, you know, could help me out. And I felt very, very lost. And so hearing you say that you almost applied to be a medic, it's kind of funny how close you get to the next stage of either your life or your profession or your, you know, relationship with your family. It's funny how close you get to that next step and don't even realize it. When you think, you know, you're feeling lost, you think that you're feeling like you don't have a direction, you feel like... Am I just a failure and nobody's telling me and they're just, you know, kind of applauding me in front of my face, but at the same time, you know, making fun of me behind my back sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's uh, too nice to say so. And if I'm honest, I actually never thought I was going to be a senior because I, I, the way I looked at it is I wasn't, I wasn't a traditional ranger in that way. I wasn't some mountain man you know, you know, who was raised by a pack of wolves or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, in a cave and, you know, like, I wasn't one of them. I, you know, I, I, I've not lived off the land until I came out here. I've not done any of that. I used to live in a city and, you know, I wasn't... Isn't that the beauty of the Rangers, though? Everybody comes from all walks of life. Doesn't matter if you're some, you know, uh, dressed to the nines, Tommy Cuso or 
someone like Bayer or Deuce that's just full on mountain in. Yeah. There is a spot for you here as long as your heart is there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's and, um it's an interesting thing. It, it is, but I kind of I was at peace with it, you know. I was like, you know what, if I'm if I never get to be a senior, you know what, I can still I can still take pride in my recruit training. I can still take pride in my uh, civilian wilderness awareness. You know, I can still take pride in everything else that I do. You know, it's, you know, I just, I just don't, I'm just not a senior. And I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll live with that. That's fine. I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't need it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't define me anymore. Kind of deal. And then you became a senior. And now it does define me. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and now it does. That's that's something that I've always I always said, like the second the bear said I got my eye on you, it kind of struck a chord with me and it was very eye opening that someone else would be looking at me for other positions and I kinda of told myself, I'm not gonna expect anything. I'm gonna do what I know how to do best. And if they choose to put me somewhere, they choose to put me somewhere. The the only person... And, sorry, carry on. I don't want to interrupt. No, no, no. You're fine. It's just... I'm going to take a quick nap for like 20 minutes. I'll be in the... the, the yep, the building. Okay. okay. Don't snore. She's, she's going to snore. Probably. Hello, Tilky. I forget what I was going to say. Long story short, there are certain people that have that they have a give to the rangers right they enjoy getting on duty they enjoy putting on the poncho they enjoy going out and you know finding people and the camaraderie of the other rangers and that's where it stops for them but you have other people who are like i'm gonna toot my own horn like myself like you like murray um like a bunch of other people or a good handful of people, I'd say, that it's much more than that, and you're looking out for the well-being of everybody else that's around you as well. Yeah. Yeah. And those are the people I personally am really trying to just support because I know if I give my all to support them, that gives them more to support other people. Yeah, that's... You know, I, I know you're bringing up in the meeting or someone's bringing up in the meeting about mentoring, but, you know, if, if anyone wants me as their mentor, I, I really want to be, like, quite an active mentor for them. I really do. I don't want to be, like, a kind of check-in once a month kind of deal. I want to I want to, I want to make sure that person is getting all the help I can give them. I really do. Mm-hmm. That's good. Um, I will be honest, nobody's talk to me about any sort of mentorship anything i think i've i'm just sort of an open i don't do hugs but i have open arms for those that need something yeah I, i'm not approaching people and saying hey get me as your mentor you know but i know it's going to come up in the meeting and you know people mm -hmm. are going to people are going to say well i want that person as a mentor and i want that person as a mentor and if anyone turns around to me and says that they want me as a mentor then i i'm going to be sure to support that person too the best of my ability because I really want them to that's good I really want them to succeed I do I do well congratulations you just defined what you should be doing as a senior ranger oh. by everything you're already doing oh well that was easy yeah you like how we can full circle on that one <laughs> I do but seriously like the paperwork one thing paperwork is paperwork yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, not, I'm not bothered about the paperwork really it's uh you know, but as far as you know, your day to day duties as a senior do exactly what you're doing right now. Do not burn the candle at both ends, but do exactly what you're doing. Just continue to support, continue to teach, and that that's all I could ever ask for personally from a senior ranger. Yeah, yeah. So good job with that. Good job being a senior oh. and doing your job. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Now go walk through tall trees with salmon strapped to your body with no weapons. I, Good luck. You know what? I said to rain before I came here, right? You know, Olive is going to end up having me attacked by a bear whilst I'm here. And <laughs> here I am being told, go and get attacked by a bear. I uh, come in full circle. 
Speaking of rain, though, I, I and, and seniors, I, I do have a question, and I don't know how much you can or mm. can't say, but um, you know, I uh, I spoke to did I speak to Jeb about it? I think I spoke to Jeb about it, but uh, you know, today I've spoke to Rain, and a few days back I spoke to Rain as well. I was in a conversation a few days back, might have been a week or so ago, with him. Uh, sorry, her, her, Sal, and Sawyer. And Rain was telling the pair of them the story of why when she came back, she wasn't made a senior again, basically. And how there's been... Because this... she abandoned the Rangers with no word. And then there's th that there's been this grudge held against her, so on and so forth, you know. And, um, you know, and obviously Sal and Sawyer were... You know, kind of like, what the hell? That's that doesn't seem very fair. So on and so forth, and kind of as me being the senior there, I kind of was. They were kind of saying to me, "Do you know why that is?" And I was like, "I've been a ranger. I've been a senior for like four days. All right, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like I don't, I don't know the situation fully. I've, I've heard Rain tell the story before, obviously, and you know, um, she, she's told me the story." previously and I, I know the situation with rain isn't always easy i know it's not um but i guess i guess because she is she obviously does want to know but you know is senior ever back on the cards for her or is that just a no if she shows up and does work yes because that's what she's wondering. She was asking me if, if I could find out anything to give her, at least in terms of advice in that way. Is there anything I would, that... Is there any... I, I would just tell her, show up, do work, be consistent, be reliable. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, once a week or if it's, you know, every single day for eight hours a day. Yeah. It's just a matter of breaking that... Because she, she still thinks there's some sort of grudge against her, I guess. Or she's it's not, not a grudge. Sure. She just or... hasn't shown the work to be put in the senior role. No. All right. Like, there is, like, things that she has written up. And, you know, listen, I wasn't here when she was a ranger before. Not, I, neither I, was I. I so. This is all, you know people telling me situations i would recommend talking to jeb about this before you talk to her again yeah i'm i'm not gonna go back immediately to her and be like okay well olive said this you know because i know that that's not what i can do or can't do or anything i like would that. i'm kind of disappointed that she's talking with you instead of trying to talk to a game warden about it well it's it's only because it's it's only because i kind of took her to one side and was doing my whole kind of like hey do you have any concerns somewhat and she and because obviously we talked about this a few days before um you know and because i'd obviously had this conversation with her in front of two other rangers essentially a couple of days before you know she only it was only because it was brought up previously that 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 it was brought up again as such as like well no the, the only concern really that she that she said she had was she she just wasn't sure about if there was any grudge against her still, or if she's just not doing something right in terms of working her way back towards the senior role, or well, the fact that she's already throwing around the word grudge that is not acceptable. Yeah, no, of course, it's not grudge. It's it's. She's just if not she showing the right signs, that, basically. No, no, not even that. It's. It's a difficult one to explain. I'm sure. Yeah, I don't take anything I say back to her because no, I, like I said, I, I've only heard these things, you know, people explaining this was the situation before. I, from what I understand, she just needs to, she needs to show it's not going to be a repeating pattern. Yeah. I don't know, it's a difficult one. Jeb has a lot more insight on it, so I would fall back to him with um, advice on this. I'm just, I am guessing. This is just out of the blue guessing. I personally haven't... S <coughs> Sorry, there's a bug in my throat. Hang on. You okay? You alright? Do you want me to patch your back? Help you get it out? 
Don't touch me. Okay, I won't. Jeb has a lot more of the backside, the underbelly of it all. He has a lot more information than I do and has a lot better perspective on it than I do. Um, if anything, me, Jeb, and Rockwell need to talk and just put a definitive thing out there, but uh, she... I really hope she stops using the word grudge, because it's definitely not I, a grudge. It's not like she's blacklisted yeah, from ever being a I senior again. Just, it's not like... I don't think her going around telling the story the way that she's telling it is healthy uh, either, and kind of... I don't want to say she's making Rangers take sides, but, you know, you know, everybody has their own side to each story, you know, I, I, mm -hmm. I was I was always told I was always told by my dad right there's there's three sides to every story there's each person's opinion and the truth right that's yep that's you know um and and so she's she's telling her side of the story and obviously you know people are going to be sympathetic to that you know um uh, especially if she tells it in a way that I say puts her in good light and it's it's not that she did anything really bad or or i don't know you know because like you i wasn't there either you know uh, you know she so. left out of the blue didn't give any notice disappeared with a bunch of ranger equipment as well uh had no word from her whatsoever yeah this it's, is right after she got her senior role so yeah. is this is, is this why deuce has come back not as a senior or not as a game warden or as well as that just a personal choice from him uh that is a story that he can tell okay fair enough it it's not it was it's not as cut and dry as that long no it's very cut and dry uh personal choice okay fair enough that's yep wasn't wasn't a decision I, on game wardens it was it was his own personal decision I, I know that he's not been feeling too was not 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 that he's not been feeling too well but he has been winding down i know that he he, he told me that himself a couple of months back that he was uh slowly oh he hated down. being game warden he hated it Oh really? Yeah, he had, he had done all that he could, and you know, having to deal with certain things, just had no interest in being a game warden anymore. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, but um, you know, I uh, yeah, no, I I I understand her, you know, telling people the story. I I. I don't think it's fully healthy her telling the story the way that she's maybe telling it to people because I just mm -hmm. think it's going to create a divide um, between people and if, you know when I'm stood there with especially three rangers that I'm generally quite close with you know and they're all kind of going why 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 and I'm going well I don't fucking know you know like I just got here I, you know I, I wasn't there when Rain was a senior, and that's not to say that Rain was a bad senior or a good senior or whatever. I, I don't know because I wasn't there then. Same, you know. You know I, I don't know why she's not senior now. You know, that it's it's outside of it's outside of what I know. It's not, you know, like please mm -hmm. give me a break. I became a senior like literally four days before this conversation. Like, you know what I mean? It's um, it doesn't doesn't benefit anybody kind of having that conversation that way so um yeah i mean it's all you know her perspective is her perspective if she wants to assume that there's a grudge being held she can do that but the way to figure out if there is is talking to a fucking game warden face to yeah. face and not just telling stories here and there but and hemming and hawing i just don't think uh i don't know i just it's just difficult it's just a, it's just a whole, it's just a mess, really. I just feel like mm -hmm. it's, you know, the longer it's left to fester, the worse it's gonna get, and, um, you know, I and and it's, I feel like, I feel like it doesn't help that she's involved with Alfred, and I really like Alfred. I do. Alfred was, you know, really important to me, especially in my time as a recruit. And mm -hmm. as a ranger, when Alfred was a senior, you know, I'm really quite close with Alfred, really. But especially with how Alfred left the rangers, which was not on good terms, you know, um, I, I, I don't think 
that helps either. For her own personal train of thought, probably not, because she's probably assuming ten times more things based on that. You know, because it's because you know every time that anything that happened with Alfred, you know, obviously he's gonna go to Rain and say, "Well, you know, this happened, this happened, this happened." You know, it's ain't it terrible? Yep, and vice versa too. You know, and. I don't want that for either of them, because I do like them both. I really do like the pair of them. I do. But, well, I, I mean, just... they're they're grown adults. If they choose to have that train of thought, they can have that train of thought and build things off of assumptions. I just worry it... that, you know, we went through that period a couple of months back where communication was really not good. And, you know, you know we're going to Strawberry. I'm going to go talk to Rain right now. Okay. All right. And at least just put her on the right train of thought that it isn't a grudge that's being held. And just kind of explain some things to her. Oh, so uh, that way she can stop that. Just just before you do kind of go and uh, like shoulder barge your way into Strawberry, um, I've set a date for my first civilian wilderness awareness class. Ooh, uh, I need very to, nice. Uh, I've been speaking to uh, somebody from the newspaper. Um, so... Hopefully an ad is going to be run at some point this week. Um, so, uh, six, six, 16th, 16th, for this. hold on, I need to check my clipboard. Uh, Isn't the 16th the, the holiday camp out? Oh, you're kidding. Oh, shit, it is. Oh, no! Oh, I need to go. <laughs> oh, damn it. I can't do it the week after because that's the 23rd. And it's going to be well, two. the the ranger thing is at 6 p.m. Eastern. I've done it at 7, to be fair. At 7 p.m. Eastern? Yeah. Well, you're going to need that entire hour beforehand. Yeah. And a oh. lot of rangers are going to be there. I'm sorry. I need to contact the newspaper again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I, I just don't think it's going to happen until after Christmas now at this point. I don't think it's going to happen until the new year. That's all right. And I'm going to be gone for like the f first week of January. I'm going to go and see Kat in Colorado, finally. Oh, very nice. She's got a new man. Yeah, she sent me a picture of him. Oh, she did? He's a good looking mm -hmm. man, right? Yeah, I'm happy for her. I'm yes. happy that she's happy. I'm very happy for her, too. I don't think Arden's taking it too well, but... I haven't seen or heard from Arden in I don't even know how long she's, I hear that though. I mean, she's she's working earlier than I do at the moment. Um, yeah, I've been around at really odd hours lately. I'm checked to play. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm worried that this is... Like you said, just going to create that divide. That's why I want to talk to Rain before anything does. But it's going to be difficult because I don't know the full everything with everything. Service dinner. Southern Grey Plains. We can go to it. It's only Southern Grey Plains. Southern, yeah. I'll stick us both on it. Oh, I just put myself on it. Let me double check that I didn't write over your writing and mess things up. Nope, we're both on it. Let's go. I tell you the one Kane. thing about I tell you the one thing about being a senior that's a real pain. Hmm. Uh having to change my wellness check. <laughs> I still haven't got yeah. used to it yet. I love Hellman All right, too. Kane. Come on. There you go. I love Hellman too. She's so good. Olive is so great. I really do like the senior team that we have. I get on with it. Uh could be that one down near Quakers. Mm hmm Oh my god, I can't see anything. Snake. Snake. Silly little snake. I'm a little snake. Yeah, I love Hellman. Ollie's great. I really do like the senior Thank team. Thank you that for we bringing have. that up, though, because I. Yeah, I I wanted to I, I wanted to bring it up. I've had a, I've actually been speaking to uh, I've had a couple of rangers talk to me about 
uh, I mean, seen your stuff recently. I mean, uh, Tony J Tony James was one of them, but um, I mean, Tony for me is a hundred miles away from being a senior. That and he was oh, also oh, you mean wanting to be a senior? Yeah, and he and that and he was also considering joining the law, um, and changed his mind. So. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just kind of... Well, that's a cliff there. Be careful. Yeah, I see that. That's Quakers down there, so it's up here somewhere. Yeah. It's ahead of us, pretty much. Well, I'm trying to find the bridge. Is crossing range core anybody over here? Right? God, that sunlight is blinding. Yeah, it is. Saints crossing range core. Anybody injured around here? Saints cross some ranges. Anybody injured? Oh, speak up for me. I see you. There's going to be a cougar around somewhere. Be careful. All right. If you want to help him, I will keep my eye out. Sure. Alrighty, so let me take a look over here. What's your name? Sam. Olive, I got a head injury. I need your help. Alright. Alright, so you, uh, can you hear me okay? Everything like that? Yeah. Okay. Let me, I'm just quick, I'm just gonna very uh, gently feel around your head, okay? Very, very gently. There's some blood coming from your head. Careful just with gonna, the neck. Yeah, we're gonna gently take a look, all right? Okay. This could be bad. Large gash on the back of the head. I'm just gonna gently feel your skull. I really just want to make sure there's no fractures or anything or uh, any damage to your neck as well. Okay. Doesn't feel like there's any skull or neck damage. Just uh, feels like a gash on the back of his head. Let's get it. Let's okay. Get it, let's get it packed and wrapped. We'll get him to Blackwater. Yeah. Um, I will start wrapping. If you want to keep your hand there, we can keep that pressure on it and try and keep it together as much as possible. We'll do. Oh, Jesus yep. Christ. You okay? Oh, he's talking to me. You still with me, Sam? Uh, good, good. All right. Just you, uh, you keep talking for us, okay? Uh, Is there any other injuries anywhere? Uh, Anything? Did the, did the coup get you at all or did it just, uh, did it just push you to the ground? I was riding my horse. I heard it. Cougar. I don't know. Then I blacked out for a second. Just check him whilst I hold his head quickly. Just make sure there's no other injuries. Yeah. Well, those are all tied off. So if there's nothing else, um, we can get him into black water. Alrighty, okay. One, two, three. Uh, that was incredibly painful. <clears throat> I'm sure it was, but you're safe now. We're gonna get you back to Blackwater as quick as we can, okay? 
Okay, I'm gonna be on you. It's your pace since you have him on the back of your horse. All right. I'm gonna pick up the pace slowly. If it feels too fast or anything like that, you tell me to stop. All right. This okay? Okay, what about this? You reckon I can go any faster than this? Oh, faster, please. Okay. That okay? Pretty much at Blackwater. Yeah. Yeah, keep going, go faster. I, I'm not gonna go any faster than this, you look pretty uncomfortable, alright? Get me I, to the fucking doctor, oh my get, fucking god, this hurts. We're getting you to a doctor, but I just need you to stay calm, alright? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. Alright, why don't you take a deep oh, breath god. for me? Nice deep breath. Nice deep I breath. I think my adrenaline's wearing off. Alright, don't you worry, we'll get you to a doctor, okay? Lost Olive. Oh, there is no doctors on duty. Alrighty, let's get you to a medical office. Thank you. I'm going to place you down nice and gently. I'll get you more comfortable, all right? I think you might have disconnected. I don't know. I don't know where she went. Where did, you, where did Olive go? She might have gone to the tip line, to be fair. <laughs> no, she she had a she had a tech issue, so Alrighty, Sammy still with me? Alrighty. I'm gonna get you more comfortable. Then what we'll get you to do is we'll either get you sat down on the bed or we'll get you uh we'll get you laid down on the bed, alright? Okay. And I don't think there's any doctors on duty, so I think what we'll do is, is we'll get a local doctor to come in and scare uh, to fix you up, alright? Okay. Hello, Dragon, how are you? Three, two, one. What the fuck? Alrighty, let's get you laid down on that bed, shall we? There we go. Perfect. Right, let me see if I can grab a local doctor for you and we'll get you uh we'll get you patched up, alright? Howdy, uh, howdy, Doc. Uh, I got somebody here with a head injury that, uh, that needs to see you. All right, thank you. All righty. So, I've just been told to wait here with you just whilst the, uh, whilst the local doctor works, all right? Sure thing. Is he? Oh, is he? Uh, is he LDing or am I? 
I don't know because he did LD examines wound. Did you say your name was again? I'm a senior ranger Pugsley. Just bouncing around streams before making dinner. Nice, nice. What you having for dinner? What you having for dinner? What you eating? I'm curious. I guess it's me now doing the... Uh... Hey, uh, I'll have the uh, local doctor's got to take a look over this guy. I don't think there's any medics on G. All right, sounds good. The uh, local dog wants to know if you're allergic to cocaine paste or not. I think it's uh, it helps numb the uh, numb the area where they've got to do stitching. Yes, that will absolutely kill me. Oh, you're allergic to cocaine. Very much so. Oh, okay, fair enough. I uh, don't think they've got any alternative, so you might just have to um, bite on a rag. Used to it at this point. One sec. All right. <laughs> you don't get many people who are allergic to cocaine, I find in my med experience. I think I want to throw a cheese tortellini in with meatballs and creamy marinara. That is... That is something. That sounds wonderful. Takes out well gnawed I'm over... Right. I'm right. Uh. That would hurt so bad. I stare it in slaps. It's going to be okay. easier I'll take a look. 17 times. Yeah, well, maybe one day they'll find another way to numb the pain. I hope so. I don't think I can last this long. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, before he left, the doctor recommends you probably get it checked with a medic in a couple of days. Um, you know, just have the stitches removed. But past that, you should uh, you should be good to go. All right. Thank All right. you again, Pugsley. That's no problem. You'll be safe now, okay? Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. Local doctor wanted me to stay around, so. All right. All right. Um, let's go strawberry. I'm gonna not talk to her right away. I need to prepare yourself. Talk to someone. Oh. Yeah, well, I just I want to have a more complete picture before I go into... I'm the type of person where... I'm not angry right now, but this is just an example. If I'm angry, I need some time to think about what I'm gonna say. Okay. Um, I, I think about conversations that might... that haven't... that could go wrong way right and i want to really be prepared for you know exactly what i want to say deliver it properly with facts and not feelings do you uh do you want me there for the conversation or not um i don't know i i'm, I'm gonna go bang on jeb's door and see if he if he's in his hotel room or what the deal is because he's so. the one that's had the most insight so far and if a conversation is to be had i think he should be there for it yeah no fair enough yeah. I think Rain so, spoke to Jeb about it before, 
but I don't know how long ago that was. I don't know how recent it was, so. Okay. Yeah, because Jeb said that he had talked to her before. That's that's why I'm still a little confused on everything, but one, thank you for telling me this. Just, I, I don't want another, you know, situation like we had in the past where, you know, rumors turn into this and rumors turn into that and yeah it's just not helping. certain words yeah exactly because she deserves answers no, she does serious. i i would i would agree with that i, I you know she, i i think i think she you know i don't want to take sides but i think she does deserve a solid answer as to you know what the situation is and it sounds like she's never had it but at the same time her going around and saying whatever she's saying is just not good either so yeah, she's had a conversation i i swear jeb has had a conversation with her about this but that's why i feel I like from what i've heard previously what she's essentially been told is like it's out of my hands i don't know so um huh. but um, all right well just you know I don't know. She bring it to me. I will talk with Jeb. Um, I'm gonna go bang on his door, or maybe he's around. I don't know. And hopefully, we can have a conversation with her today. Yeah. No. I would. Uh, I think it'd be for the best. I think it would. Okay. Um. If you want to do the paperwork, I'll give you times, and I'll resolve the tip and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. I'll. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll. Yeah, I'll... senior. Do the paperwork. It's all I've fucking done all day is do paperwork. <laughs> Jesus. Welcome to being a senior. I don't mind doing paperwork, to be fair. I mean, I've written what? I wrote... I've written something in general news. I've written that surgeon file. I've written... Uh, I've, I've written, like... Write I've, more. I've written a missing per person's report. I've You're written... You're killing it. Like, like I said, you've done an amazing job as a senior. I and think there's another that... missing persons report that we might need to do, actually, for Mama Christine, unless somebody's already done it. No, 11 minutes after that telegram came in, uh, they said they had found her. Oh, okay, well, then I'm not doing yeah. that one, then. Nope. I mean, you can, and then just instantly rip it out and throw it away. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm not wasting the time or the paper. Okay, sounds good. You never know what we need that paper for. Ooh, what's that? But there's a big old flash of lightning. I don't think anybody's here. God, I love being around Olive. Olive is such a bad bad man she's such a good lady she's so cool i will do the tip oh sorry 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 how dare you you doing paperwork how oh i feel i need to oh shit mm. i need to i need to telegram that person from the newspaper shit balls 620 620 tip line tip line tip line Locking you in. Can never escape. Damn it. Guess I'm stuck here forever doing paperwork. Just use a house favorite exit upstairs. I've used that special exit before. I have. I, don't, I still don't know how the tunnel got there to come out from the tailors, but you know. <laughs> Seal of you you seen rain about? Um, there's something in the paperwork about her doing a snow patrol. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, it, Olive actually did lock me in. God damn. I told you I did. Well, you know, I didn't know if you were just fooling around.
Well, they're going on a snow patrol, but it's not official. Oh, fair enough. Time for us to play some notes. Oh, wait. Uh, Olive just said they were on a snow patrol, but not an official one. So. Maybe it is. I don't fucking know. I'm... <laughs> I had a minor head injury. Speaking mm. to BW. Oh my god, I can't spell medical office where they were seen by a local local doc. Oh my god, doc. Oh, for God's sakes. I'm really bad at typing, like really, really bad at it. Save, check in, go back. Uh, What's Dalton's last name again? Cornwall. reading over the meeting topics and added them in the uh, promotions. Oh, yeah. Clever. Good call. Yeah, I hope you didn't mind me adding about uh, Tibbet's promotion to Huntress to the uh, to the meeting. No, no, no. That, that should definitely be in there. The, uh, the recruit they've taken out on the Snow Patrol, I was asking him earlier what towers he's not been to. <laughs> He made, mm -hmm. he's, two towers, I was like, oh, you know, maybe we'll do a tower run. And it turns out he's been to the two towers that are the furthest away from each other possible. The uh, the New Austin Tower and the Lemoyne Tower. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. But, uh, so I think he's been out to the New Austin Tower today. Um, at least. There is a Jeb. There is a Jeb. There is a Jeb. Hello, a Jeb. Hello, a Jeb. No response. I need to talk to you. Oh. Well, you can once he's finished rubbing his ears. That means we have to say hello, Jeb again. Is his name now a Jeb? Uh, I have in the past called him Jabedia. Hello, a Jeb. Hello, a Jeb. I need to speak with you. Uh, Pugsley, would you like to come and talk with us? Yeah, can do. Uh, what did you do? It's actually not what I did. Just take off your poncho now. Just, just take it off. All now. right. Okay. Fine. I'll. Uh, All right. Let's go up, Tom. Let's go. Now, get uh. back, fucking get back here. Let's <laughs> go. Cool. Um, where are we going? Up on the up on the rock where we talked uh, before. Okay. Or we can do this rock because it's closer. I feel it don't matter I like me. this rock. I, f I feel very official sure. now. I don't know how to feel. Oh, Jesus. This is. All right. They can speak with some priority. Uh, I don't like that. Um, is this is better coming from your mouth, Pugsley, since you were the one that was there. So, uh, did I speak to you the other day, Jeb? I, d I don't know if I spoke to you or somebody else about a conversation I had with Rain in front of Sawyer and Sal about her being promoted to senior? Uh, if not, then wait, I'll just... who being promoted? What? Rain. I'll, I'll tell you what, forget I said that. Let's go from the beginning, right? Yeah, please So, do. um, I definitely spoke to someone about it. I can't remember who. But, um, either way. So, I... Not maybe only a few days after I got promoted to senior, I was stood on the porch one day with uh Rain, Sawyer, and Sal. And uh they were all congratulating me on being a senior, whatever, so on, blah blah blah. Um, but then the topic of Rain previously being a senior came up. Um As it and, always does, but and, anyways, go on. And um how Rain used to be a senior. You know, 
Um, to which the question then followed, well, when you came back, why were you not made a senior again? And Rain essentially was telling the story that uh, there is like, and I've heard the story before, and I'm sure you've heard the story. In fact, I think everybody here has heard the story before about how there's a, a grudge against her or... or um, Keyword grudge. Keyword grudge, grudge. yeah. Um, because of, you know, how she, because of how she left the first time, um, you know, um, and it's obviously the way that she told the story was obviously more from her perspective and Sal and Sawyer kind of were like, oh, that doesn't seem very fair, um, so on and so forth. But obviously me being the senior there, I then obviously get bombarded with questions of, you know, why, 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 why? And I'm like, well, I don't know. I wasn't a senior when I wasn't a ranger when Rain was a senior, or uh, you know, you know, I wasn't I, I wasn't in the state back then, so on and so forth, um, you know. Um, and I pulled Rain to one side after that chat, um, and kind of said to her, you know, like, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the situation really because I don't, you know, and nobody's told me the situation because obviously why would they? I've been a senior for less than a week at that point or whatever, um, you know, and she, she obviously feels like that there is some grudge against her from when she was previously a senior and obviously came back and wasn't. Now, um, I spoke to... I, I kind of talked down from the conversation at the time and didn't feel like I needed to go any further with it because it was just like, it was just one of those things I was like, look, you can still do everything that a senior does without the rank. Like, just just, just keep going as you are. Like, you know, it's, you know. Um, and like today, just doing senior stuff, I just decided, you know what, the meetings, you've obviously got the meeting later this week. I'll just pull her aside and see if there's any concerns at all. You know, besides, but I'll just see if there's any concerns that she's got, whatever. And, you know, off the back of that conversation that we'd had, obviously, last week or whenever it was, she said, you know, the only concern that she's really got is about the senior thing. And she's wondering, obviously, about if she'll ever be a senior again or whether she's essentially, I guess, blacklisted as such because of this grudge, grudge as such um, against her, um, you know. I think she she seems like she doesn't really know, you know, what the situation is in terms of, you know, will she ever be allowed to be a senior again? Or is it that she's just not doing the right things in terms of being a senior? Um, so on, so forth. But I was talking to Olive about this. I just, I don't think it's very healthy that she's going around telling that story the way that it is. Because it's just, it just seems like it's just going to end up being quite divisive. Um, it's going to be a repeat of everything that we just got, literally yeah, just got nice. over dealing with. And call me crazy, but I think you told me that you've had this conversation with her before, have. haven't you? Yes, I have. And so it's twice as concerning to me that she's still... My biggest issue with this is it's all, why aren't... Why am I not getting I've what really I thrown want myself rather than shit what, can, what more can I do to help the rangers... And put myself in that position for people to look at me and be reliable. So that's the reason I I needed you here. Uh, you you have been through this rodeo. You, I I have only been told information about how she left before from you know third parties. Okay. So I, there is something that's just really come to mind actually that I feel like I should probably add to this as well. Um, when I had the conversation with her um in front of sal and sawyer i was saying at the time about kind of you know what i what i want to be as a senior and what i want to do as a senior and just kind of you know just just trying to get across and i said you know i was like i, I really want to try and take that kind of you know cat carver approach of being approachable by by approachable by everybody you know so on and so forth you know like kind of somebody that people can go to what wh wh whatever and rain seemed a, a little bit upset by that and um, I think she feels that essentially from from when she was a senior, she it seems like that she almost felt like she was replaced by Cat, and that kind of everything she'd done then was pretty much kind of thrown away and replaced by Cat as such. Okay, well let's um, let's pause. So 
Not only has she left once, she's left twice. I can't speak to the first one. All I know is the Rangers weren't very, it, it was another one of those just divisive times where people left and you know how it goes. Yeah. The second time was seeing a Ranger. Myself and Ellis, Ellis had just gotten his green. I was getting towards getting my green. She takes us out to the mother tree, tells us that little mother tree story. And we head back, write the feedback. And that was probably the last anybody heard from her. Now, on top of that, she's a senior, right? So, she's got inventory. So, she just up and left without saying a word. Nobody didn't take it away. No telegrams, nothing on the tip line. Just disappeared. Had probably half of the Ranger catalog with her. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's not that she's being held a grudge against. I mean, not for myself, at least I, I would probably, as far as grudges are concerned, I'd speak to probably Deuce or Buzz on that one. Yeah, um, that's, that's what I would have thought to be fair. But, uh, I mean, there is a real reason, you know, it, it's, it's not necessarily a grudge. It's just in my eyes. How long are you going to be accountable for? You know, like you're accountable until you're not. And it's, there's no warning as to when you're not going to be, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, I understand. It. Yeah, no, like, I understand. You, you, you want to preach to us about, you know, how much you care about being a ranger and welcoming in new ones and being a teacher and loving the life and all this. But then every so often you just drop it clean, just gone, cut and run. So I think now it's been long enough that she could definitely be in the running for it. Um, but at the same time, you know, hearing things like this, her, it makes me want to say no. Yeah, exactly. It's so, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's, I mean, like, you know, I, I said this to Olive and I think me and me and Olive, have, if, if I've said it to be fair, but like, I, she, I, I feel like she at least, if she doesn't know, at least she, you know, or at least has forgotten. Let's say if you if you've talked to her about this before, you know, she at least deserves to know, you know, why that's not there, you know, for for her sake, I think. But oh, I, a, that's, a, I've I've told her everything she needs to know. But um, well, that's that that's that, I guess that's someone's on her, looking then. at Sawyer on yeah, the no. porch with. Uh, Anyways, um, but then, uh, but yeah, then, uh, I, you know, if, if, she, you know, if obviously in the hypothetical case that she, she didn't know at all, right. Then obviously, you know, she deserves to know, right. You know, she does, des she does deserve to know that, but, um, you know, she, she can't, she, she can't be like, oh, you know, I really want to try for senior again, but then go around telling people a story of, you know, well, you know, these people have got a grudge against me, you know. I say, woe is me, but, you know, it's it's kind of... It just doesn't paint everything in a good picture, and you just... It's like Sal, Sawyer, and... Sal, Sawyer, and Rain are, are people I am good friends with and quite close with, and for me to be stood there and then the three of them sort of basically be like, why, 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 why? And I'm like, well, hold on. Like, why the why the fuck would I know, you know? So it's like, and I don't blame Sawyer and Sal. I don't. I don't. I don't blame them two, at all. You know, they're just curious as to what the situation is. They've just heard somebody's story about it. But you know, I don't think it's healthy from Rain to be going around and saying to people, um, this, that, and the other. I don't think it's healthy. It's not. Uh, I've had this conversation. I've told her. What I told her the last time was exactly what I just said. The reason why she hasn't even been put up is because, again, anybody who's been senior game warden since she left has had the same opinion. You know, if anything, anybody else has had a leave that's been extended that long either has not been a senior ranger 
or has gone on LOA, um, you know, has always made some kind of accountability check, like, you know, Buzz handing off all the gear. Um, I mean, hell, even like Murray got rid of stuff before he took LOA. Um, you know, and it's not even just that. Like, anytime somebody leaves, we they know they're going to be gone. We always get something on the tip line. You know, hey, I'm going to be gone for the next two weeks. Hey, I'll be gone for a couple of days. You know, yeah, absolutely. and it's, you need to be, you don't even necessarily have to be around, but if you need to be called on, then, you know, that, that should be something that can happen. Yeah, absolutely. So, perfect example is, you know, right here. Like, I'm not necessarily around, but if I'm needed, I'll be here, you know. So that's one of those things that I think she definitely has the skill set. The mindset, I don't know. I, I think it's kind of deteriorated over time, especially just with, you know, how uh, Alfred left. So she's probably on that same side. Like, you it's, know, they're, the world's against us. And but you know what? That's, it's really funny that you said that because I pretty much exactly said that to Olive as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had also seen that being a problem. And even me and Peter even spoke about this. Uh, Peter had recommended her a while back when me and him were talking and I basically said the same thing and he's he, in, in his mind that wasn't a problem the whole her being with Alfred thing but I just I don't think that going home to somebody with not the greatest opinion of the Rangers I mean don't get me wrong I'm sure if you if asked you know Alfred would say he loves the Rangers but don't think he still ain't complaining, oh, you know. Yeah. So, I just like I said, I think it's a mindset thing that's holding her back. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know. I think I think her her best shot at senior ranger she already got rid of. Even if we gave it to her now, or even if put her in a position to earn it now I don't know that we'd get the same result I think it sounds like that she's if she wants it then she's got a, a lot of working to do this is exactly what I told her the last time we I talked to her I said I'm not saying no there is a chance but I also said don't wait up because there's a whole lot of other people that are newer to the core they're you know more hungrier enthusiastic yeah, they're yeah. they're around and you know like you said they're hungry hungry dogs run faster yeah you know i mean that's just that's just the mentality we want we want the people that you know want to get their hands dirty and get in every day and do more for the core that have newer ideas you know, you can't, you can't just expect people to, you know, welcome you back with open arms the way that, you know, that you expect. It's just not, and it's I not mean, how it goes. Yeah. And I mean, even I'll now, be, go ahead. No, I'll just be completely honest with you. The way I look at it is everything that she is saying is very, what can I get out of this? What do I deserve rather than what is what do the rangers need it's yeah. very looking in and not looking out yeah just simply based on the way that she worded people holding a grudge and not taking into account you know maybe the previous conversation that jeb had with her i don't i don't know i just want to get in front of the fucking train before it barrels into the lodge and just spreads everywhere yeah that's yeah. that's that's my that that that's my concern now is just i just don't want rain to just be you know spreading this story around that um of 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 one thing and it, it you know and it's not that at all and then all of a sudden you've got a bunch of rangers essentially just kind of on her side and you know then we end up with what was happening months back where there was a divide in people and 
you know, you've got to spend time to try and work through that and make everybody feel like a whole group again, so on and so forth, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's... I mean, and, and the bottom line is, is this. There's people that want Senior Ranger and there's people that aren't Senior Ranger. And we got both groups in the Rangers. There's always going to be somebody who wants that promotion or wants that recognition of any kind. But sometimes, and I would even go as far as to say most times, you don't get what you want. I mean, you get what you earn, you get what you deserve. And I think there's a lot of people that, you know, had we, you know, just this insanely large roster of Rangers, sure, we could lower our standards a bit and, you know, make people, more people, senior Rangers and turn them into leaders and, yeah, you know, so on and so forth. But the dynamic is, you know, one, we can only have so many because we won't, we don't want to diminish the value of the title. Of course. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't have that. Yeah. I don't know. It's a big jumbled mess and I only have bits and pieces. And so thank you for being here, Jed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't, I mean, it just sounds like she's just trying to stir up attention, but I just, yeah, there's not, especially cause we've got what, like shit, like nine senior Rangers right now. Yeah, uh, yeah with is. Murray coming yeah, back. Yeah, with Murray coming back. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Jesus. Yeah. So I mean, we've got plenty, and if if she wants to, I understand wanting something, but at the same time, are you really going to challenge who we already got? I mean, come on. Like we got some damn good senior Rangers, and I would put money on all of them. You know, being around more often and being more available to people. think of all things there's of all the <laughs> the skill sets that we want to encompass as a group i think you can go between any senior ranger especially now that murray's back you know you want to learn about horses talk to murray you want to learn about you know hunting things down tracking baiting wade you know hell pugs wrote a whole fucking class you know herbs you can go I, talk to Silas. I need to fucking go to the, I, I mean, to you know, to there's so many things. Paper about that still. But, um, give me just a second to be in my head. Yeah, you're all right. Uh, can I give you a little more clarity on things, Pugsley? To, to be honest, I don't think it's me who needs the clarity, but I appreciate no, the clarity. No, no. I mean, you're the one that approached about yeah, this no, whole I, situation. Yeah, no, I, the, the, so. the clarity is definitely ideal to have. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's all a it's all a fucking mess, right? You know, it is, and it's about people. I don't know, understanding how things are. Yeah. It's, it, you know, it's just, uh, it's just all a mess, uh, and I just think, I just think there's no winning, you know, there's, you know, because, let's be real, I don't think Rain is going to ultimately take this conversation very well. Probably not. And... I think she's going to ultimately just have to bite the bullet, swallow her pride, and stop telling this story. Because otherwise, it's just going to get worse. Eh. I would like to think that she takes the conversation to heart when there is a conversation and actually does what needs to be done. Or just accepts that, you know, things can doing be... I'm this because I love my job. I love my job. <laughs> Roanoke? Yeah. Oh. Northern Roanoke. 
Uh, um, be careful up there, please. There is. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna go with her. I'm gonna go with her. The uh, uh, the dirty boys are apparently living in the cliffs behind the laboratory in Northern Roanoke. Uh, yes, they are apparently living in. They apparently are living in the cliffs behind Northern Roanoke. A bit, not behind Northern Roanoke. Behind the uh, behind the laboratory. Um. Yeah, so, I read about that. Yeah, do be careful. I was told that by Nadia earlier, so. Uh, do I don't feel comfortable with you going alone. Um, so, Pugsley, you can either go with or I will go with her. Uh, well, I'm I mean, gonna be. be I'm gonna be hitting everybody. the hay. I'm gonna be hitting the hay soon, so it's probably best if if anyone's okay. gonna go that you go with her. If okay. I run um, into them, they know me by name and they're friendly with me. Oh, they are. Yeah. Do you feel comfortable going alone? I feel fine going alone. I mean, okay. I, the only reason I was complaining was because it's Northern Roanoke and I it's Northern Roanoke. But if you yeah. guys have like business to take care of, I'm fine doing it by myself. Or if you wanted to, oh, don't worry, we're do... talking about you. Don't worry. That's great. <laughs> um, thanks, Pugsley. No. You smell bad. Anyways, I'm gonna thank go... you for letting me know. I'll fix okay. it. Okay, of course. All right, just send in a tip. Just letting us know you're okay at some point. I'll think about it. I'm kidding, I will. Be okay, safe. thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a group that's been um, kind of camping out behind the laboratory, and there's a northern Roanoke tip, so just checking on her to make sure she's okay going alone. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. And then Rain, Yang, and St. Patrick are all on a snow patrol with the recruit. So I assume Rain's leading that. Yeah, yeah so. according to her paperwork, it's an official snow patrol, which I thought it was just who had been... I, I don't know how all the snow patrol stuff works. Neither do I. Should probably... Um, she's I'd in like there as an assistant. I'd like to know who recertified her, because I nope. didn't. No, nobody did. She's in there as a ranger that's willing to assist, but... Yeah. She's been talking about getting recertified for a long time, so. Uh, honestly, not that big of a deal, because fun fact, she's the one that wrote up most of the snow patrol protocols, so. Yeah, I didn't see an issue with it. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if it, it I, I don't know anything. I'm going to go stare at the water just for a minute. I just, um, I'm going to soak it all in. Yep. The entire river. Oh, sorry for bringing this trouble to your doorstep, Jeb. Oh, it's all right. You're gonna get kicked by a horse. Please move. I told you. No. I literally told you. I was I was feeling optimistic. <laughs> Where my hat go? I can't see your hat. I did. Okay. Doesn't <laughs> like a little mud. Yeah, but uh, how's your back feeling? You know, it's been better. Uh, yeah. I'll probably uh, probably take a hot bath here in a little bit. Yeah, I probably would do something like that. I probably would. Yeah. I, uh, I'd sent a, uh, I sent a telegram to the newspaper about running my, uh, running my class on the 16th of December. I then found out that the Christmas event thing is happening on the same day. Got to love that. Because I'm very clever and check these things. Speaking of, speaking of clever, I, uh, I, I fractured my score last Monday, right? Yeah. I uh, fell down. Uh, fell down the hole at the uh, the Amberino Tower, the ladder hole, at the Amberino Tower. Yep. And uh, they just put a metal plate in my head. But they uh, they found a brain in there. They found a brain in my head. There's one in there. Good. Yeah, it's you know what? As results go, 
pretty happy. Worse, yeah. Yeah. I am clear for duty again, though. I'm not just, uh, not just working. Ah. Yeah. I hope I've, uh, I was talking to I was talking to Olive about it, but um, and she said I've been doing fine and I've been doing good work, but I I hope I'm not doing too much, you know. Is I mean, it, really, it's up to you, you know. Well, you know, I don't want to I, I, I don't want to be kind of stepping on Game Warden's feet or anything, you know. As long as you don't process anybody or hand out a stop and you're not stepping on my feet well, i haven't exactly got the money to be throwing around to hand out stipends so uh that's absolutely fine i mean seems like anything that you hear about is coming to a game warden so that's really all we ask just keep us in the loop that way Anytime we come around, I mean, there's there's still going to be surprises, but less surprises is better. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. I think I'm going to go and hit the hay, to be honest. Yep. I kind of need to uh, go take a lay down after dealing with all of this. Uh, oh, trust me. I know how it goes. Bullshit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're ready for more of that. Oh, I've been dealing with bullshit pretty yeah. much all day, to be honest. I've, um, oh, yeah. I've been a little bit busy on the old paperwork today, writing missing person files and writing files on people who are attacking rangers and deputies and whoever else they're attacking. Just, uh, you know, uh, you know, so, uh, yeah, uh, I've had a, a rather busy day of standing on the porch or going and telegramming people or somewhere in between all of that. Oh, and then taking a trip up to Barrow Lagoon because apparently there was just a, a wagon up there. And when I got there, there was nothing there. So. Nice. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to discuss game warden things. Done. Oh hey. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I'm gonna go send a telegram to the newspaper and tell them not to run my advert for the dates that I told them, and I'm gonna figure out some new dates, maybe. But okay. Uh, right. Anyway, I'm sorry I brought it up, but no, I no, 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 no. Do not apologize. Do know. not. <laughs> do not apologize. Do do not apologize at all. Do not apologize at all. I'm signed up to go to that. That, that Christmas event, to be fair, so I oh. should have known better. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I should have known better, so that's on me. That's not on you. That's on me. Right, anyway. Okay, go send uh, your telegram. Uh, I will. I'm going to go say hello to Sawyer first, and then I'm going to go. So uh, I'll see you right. uh, I'll see you later. Have a, have yeah, a good night, good and be safe. Yeah, good seeing you too. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, Lucille. Goodbye, Lucille. Are you leaving? Uh, well, I'm just going to go and book Sawyer, and then I'm going to go to bed. Yes. Oh, she just went around back to uh, have a moment. Steaks. <laughs> well, I have to go and send a telegram to the newspaper, because I was going to go and run my civilian wilderness awareness class on the 16th at 7 p.m. Oh, I... And then I remember... And, and then, well, no, I didn't remember. Olive then told me, oh, by the way, that... That Christmas event that the Rangers are running, that's also on the 16th at 6 p.m. I went, oh, shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. You signed up on the 16th. I did sign up on the 16th. <laughs> Basically, I'm a mess, all right? It's okay, isn't everybody? Yeah, so I've got to go and tell the newspaper not to run that day. Sorry. It's not your fault. It's mine. I should have read.
I was like, I chose the 16th because the other day that I had um, on there, like three people signed up on it and it was three people that had signed up for the other day. So I was like, you know what? I just take that date out. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. All right, chat. I'm going to go. And it was it. Ellis that suggested this stupid thing and he has me doing it and he's not even participating. <laughs> oh, that's poor. That's poor. Guess it's like, time for what a am divorce. I now? The, the 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 party planner of the Ranger Corps now? Yes, that is you. All right, everybody, have a good night. I'll see you mm -hmm. soon. Bye. By the way, if you really want to know.